but no, we are recording, and I'm taking notes of all of the things for timing and stuff in case we need it. All right, three, two, and one. Here we are, mid afternoon, on December twenty third, nineteen eighty two, uh, following a rather interesting interesting trip in the sewers. Uh, to say the least. With a few extra passenger on board some vehicle um, heading to, I do believe, Bia's house for um, temporary shelter and possibly future debriefing once everybody settle and is in a state to uh, better communicate. For the sake of continuity, uh, Percy yeah. will keep Lakeisha up to date and, and let her know yeah. what's going on as they drive over. Wonderful. Uh, so, yeah, you just brief Lakeisha to the best of your ability. Uh, and however how many details you wish to go into, I leave that entirely up to you. And you may communicate with... Uh, a character off screen uh, for whatever extra detail you may want to provide. Uh, but everybody's heading to uh, Bia's house. I don't think we ever really went to Bia's house so far, no, just a general narrative. We went to everybody's house but yours, uh, which is weird. Little, little bit. Yeah, so. Uh, could you just like do me a favor? Just tell us like what is Bia's house? Like what are we looking at here in the middle of winter? I'm gonna drop the floor plan in the backstage chat for y'all. Appreciate, cause I'm checking, scrolling back in that. Uh, in what do you mean? You don't know where you live? That you don't know what your house looks like? <laughs> okay, I remember. Where for I shame. Live. It is That's such normal behavior. Don't worry, I have the floor plan of your house. Let me send that to you real quick. Well, yeah. I have the floor plan and we built it in the Sims. Sims, Sims and fully decorated the house exactly how she wanted it. But out of context, it doesn't look creepy at all. No. <laughs> so. I'm putting the reference in there so everyone can see it. Yeah. She's got, it is a 1930s prefab house. So, you know, probably her mom got it out of the Sears catalog or what have you, put it in mm -hmm. because those houses are good and cheap and easy to put in. And so, you know, it's older house, but it's fairly well upkept. Still definitely a lot of the like 1960s, 70s decorations in there. Um uh, it's two bed right now. It's a lot of snow, but the driveway has been shoveled thanks to the neighborhood kids. And she does have like a little bit of Christmas up and about. Like, you know, she doesn't have a tree in there yet or anything, but mm -hmm. got some got some lights up. Um, definitely has um, like a true garland, like from a tree around some of the house um and she pulls in the driveway and kind of starts uh gesturing people inside and goes all right let's go we're gonna get you into i don't think I... oh no one extra mm. I'm demons got her <laughs> that's right demons. sorry <laughs> uh <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it took a second for that to hit um <laughs> just yeah come on in i got the one spare bedroom but i got plenty of spare blankets and such like we can get y'all set up camped out um and just is not giving any of the extra people time to like think about what's going on right now mm -hmm. is entirely just doing the mom bustle power into the house um so there is a as you come in the like there's a front living room and then a kind of a den and so she immediately gets them all settled first just in the den warm comfy couches 
and then starts going, all right, does anybody want some hot chocolate? I got some coffee. I got some, uh, let me just pop a casserole in the oven, heat that up for everybody. And people seems to be still under shock and confusion, uh, but uh, will just go through the motion and accept and take a moment to, okay, we are actually possibly safe right now. We're just going to take the food because they are very, very hungry. You get a feeling that whatever they were fed uh, was just to keep them alive. Uh, and she's going to go, uh, Percy, back bedroom. There's a closet in there. There's a bunch of boxes of um, old clothes, if you could get people some clothes. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, because um, they are very naked still. Yep. <laughs> I'll head to do so, but as I do, uh, can I stop by some of the windows and just peek out and just look and see if anybody might be watching the house? Uh, I'm still aware that somebody was was at the lab and wasn't there mm -hmm. when we found it. So I'm worried that somebody might have followed. Uh, so you're just taking it out um, and look outside. Mm -hmm. If you want to roll for it, I give you the choice for it, but... Sure. Uh... Uh, what would that be? Investigate, read a bad situation. Uh, I'd say, I'd, at worst, it would be read a bad situation. Okay. Oh, I'll roll that. Well, that's decent. Okay. Well, someday, someday, I'll I'll hit that level up. Eleven. Eleven. Uh, you take a look around. Um, you do see, because, be yeah, unlike you know some other people, you do live where there's actually a somewhat of a neighborhood. Uh, <laughs> So you do see some uh, some folks like walking outside, uh, some kids playing, but you don't notice anybody really like watching per se. Okay. Like you do see that uh, some people like didn't notice that. Oh, there's a car pulling in BS driveway, mm -hmm. and you you you, you do it's like there's probably like somebody on like the other side of the street that is a bit confused by. Uh, what they thought they saw was some naked people getting out of a van to go inside a house. Um, yeah, that, that was going to be a follow up question is, does anybody look like they're looking to find a, like they're going to go find a phone and phone the police or <laughs> they're very concerned? Uh, it's hard to tell if they're going to, you know, okay. call the cops or they're oh, just going to wonder what's, 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 sort of, what's sort of like weird holiday party be yeah. that we got our house uh we're not judging <laughs> they're uh, absolutely so, judging <laughs> they're absolutely judging but uh you might not you know i don't know a few days later maybe one of your neighbor will ask you some question bia who knows okay but it's, that, is, it's that, is, that is future bia's problem yep. um, that's bia at christmas eve services problem <laughs> yep Ever since you started hanging out with that Percy fella, it seems like you've gotten into some weird things, Bia. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, nice. well, if, if it doesn't seem like there's danger, I'll go get the clothes. Perfect. Yeah. No, easy enough, like, getting things that you need. Can I say that being that we had two cars mm -hmm. uh, on the way back, because she's literally in a sports bra and Bia's coat and covered in sewage, she asked Cade to drop her at Percy so she could shower because she knows how many people are going to be in the showers at Bia's and get fresh clothes because she's got clothes there. Oh, that is 100% um, valid. It makes sense. So uh, I would have I would have left the coat in the car so that it could be given back to Bia, but I will run into Percy's house to do stuff. So Perfect. She also pissed her dad off. All right. So dropping off the people and all that taking care, making sure that everybody's good and safe and all, getting change, uh, and eventually regrouping. Um, so uh, with a lot of stranger in, in your house, Bia, uh, what is your plan just to deal with that? I think her immediate plan is just, you know, get them food, cleaned up, clothes, and actual sleep mm -hmm. and so it's just basically you know fulfill basic necessities and then see if Lakeisha wants to bring this through agency or some other method 
of you know debrief see if they know anything yeah. get them a well higher level taken care of currently the like, show is on a leave of absence right yeah, so so that's going to be tricky to get the agency involved which sucks because if any group of people that we've dealt with mm -hmm. could use a memory wipe it's them but uh that is something that we can uh, for sure look into at some point mm -hmm. uh, now any last minute thing last any things that you wish to accomplish as a group or as an individual uh, before the end of the day outside um, of this tiffany stripped all the christmas decorations at percy's house except for the christmas tree that she has down by her bed in the, the basement in the infirmary she took all the christmas decorations down and packed them back up and she didn't go back to bia's oh. first thing she did is she went to go try to say bye to her boyfriend who's gone because his family goes skiing too but they go to the poconos so they drive so she just mm -hmm. missed them because they were leaving right before dinner and now that it's late afternoon they left yeah so she didn't get to say goodbye to him so now she's pissed um she's gonna run by her house and see if her mom's car is in the driveway uh you don't see your mom's car in the driveway She's going to go by Nana and Papa's. Is, are they at Nana and Papa's house? Yes, they are. Uh, she goes back to Percy's and goes down to the... Uh, well, she stops at her house, gets did, more clothes to have okay. at the house, and then goes back to Percy's house and like uh, crashes on the couch. She in, doesn't want to be around all the chaos. In relation of where uh, your room is in, in your home, uh, where is it? Is it on the second floor? Uh, it's it's a one-story uh, house. Her is at the Hers is at the end of... Like, if you're facing the house, yeah. like the front door, her parents' bedroom is in the back of the house. All the kids' bedrooms are in the front. Hers is the one at the end of the hallway. Looking at the house on the left, it's all the way at the end of the hallway. So, uh, as you uh, go into your bedroom, uh, and that's something I can give you at a later time, uh, you do see something like tape on the other side of your window. Like a piece of, like, paper envelope thing. She will grab it and take it back to Percy's house to read it there. All right. She doesn't want to see it. She just kind of like nabs, like she yeah. sees it. She'll like crank the window open and reach out and pull it off. Cause she's got really, really tall windows that don't really open, mm -hmm. but the, she's got the little one that the agency helped with that she can sneak in and out of for cases. And yeah. she'll pull the letter in and just pocket it. Hope nobody saw it. Crank the window back closed, grab some clothes, makeup, whatever she thinks she's going to need for a couple of days and go back to Percy's house. Perfect. All right. And Cade, what about you? So Cade would have dropped Tiffany off. And when Tiffany was like, go ahead without me, um, would have probably stopped by uh, Bia's and see if there's anything they could do to help. All right. Just like be there as an extra set of hands and just mm -hmm. kind of silently do as Bia says. Yeah. Perfect. All right. But my and mom's my mom's car was at Nana and Papa's, right? Correct. Yeah. So it, knowing that she was there, I didn't go in the house because cool. that's where I was gonna stay was at Nana and Papa's house. But with my mom there, no. Um, I think Percy will go to after like getting everybody the clothes. He's gonna go to the bathroom for a second. Um, just like as everybody's getting dressed, because he knows they're they're gonna need to use the bathroom. But he's just yep. gonna close the door look in the mirror and reach into his, his pocket, pull out a flask and take a long swig and just stare at the mirror for a long time, then pour some water and splash it in his face, shake his head, <clears throat> clear his throat and look down at his hand, which is shaking just a little bit and he'll like clench it into a fist so it stops. And then he'll go out and he'll help get Bia uh, to, to help everybody to start getting cleaned up. And as he does so, he'll just like lean in and whisper into her ear and say, hey, um, you're talking and taking care of everybody else. Let me know if you need somebody to take care of you, okay? Uh, and he'll keep helping get everybody into the, the bathroom to get cleaned up. Perfect. All right. So, with those quick things more or less out of the way, uh, what are your plans for the evening? And... How do you, how and where do you 
plan to spend December 24th because we will be diving into the next day. I would have stayed at Percy's house. Mm -hmm. I might have hopped back in my car and driven to see if the water got turned back on at my house and see if my mom went home. Um, yeah, your water is, you know, if you went inside, you would see that like water is available. Oh, yeah. Right. Because they, my mom had gone over likely because the water was out. So I just wanted to mm. check where she is on the 24th. Like, yeah. is she at the house or is she at Nana and Papa still? Yeah. No, yeah. she's at your, uh, at your grandparents' house still. Then Tiffany's not going to, she doesn't want to make a scene. She doesn't want to be in the middle of everything because she knows Nana and Papa are going to bring stuff up and. Because yeah. they're probably very freaked out about the whole everything going on and nobody's talking to her. Mm. She doesn't know what to do. So she would probably just go back to Percy's and just hang out in the lore library doing her research for stuff coming up when school starts again in a couple of weeks. Because all she's doing right now is chilling because she's got nowhere else to go. Her best friend's out of town. Her boyfriend's out of town. No one knows where her dad is. Her mom's not talking to her. Percy's mad at her because she fucked up his house. So... She's just keeping to herself. Perfect. I think Bia, once she's got everybody settled down, you know, she pulls out the hoard of blankets and has people like gives feeds them all the casserole she's got stashed, um, and gets everybody kind of situated. And I'm sure everybody's just crashing out now. <laughs> like, okay, safe, warm, down. Um, and so she's going to pull Percy and Kate into the kitchen and just go, okay, uh, this is the part where I admit I have no idea where to go from here. Um, I am worried about having a bunch of strangers just in my house and then leaving them in my house. Like, I'm sure they're not going to ruin anything, but, you know, I am concerned about leaving them alone and what else might happen to them as well whoever took them knows that they're the best lead to finding them not going to be okay Just let them go i'm sure having said <clears throat> the only people i know who could take care of something this big and not us is well, the agency and i know it's the best option at the moment, so honesty, best policy. I'm just fucking befuddled as you. Paid. Uh, I'm sorry. I know that this always happens and we always ask this, but any input from other sources? Or your own, if you got thoughts on it. That as well. I'm sorry, I'm bad at that. Yeah, you, you too, of course. You also have value. Mm. I could ask. If you want. Hey, do you got a particular brand of drink you like? Whiskey? I can do it. I'll get you a bottle. Is it? Thank you. Do we give you space for this kind of thing, or you can do whatever you want? And uh, she will call upon her little, her little friend, her little friend, her little buddy. All right. So. Since uh, communication with him has been a bit strange recently, how do you uh, plan on just calling upon him? Or just gonna like go, hey, you, can you like have a chat or? Hey. Um, I think just because of their interaction last time and seeing mm -hmm. how he interacted with, I guess, the person, the creature, I don't know. How the thing, call yes. Call them the person. <laughs> It feels so wrong to call them a creature, even though they kind of are. Um, but um, I think just seeing the kind of like kind of emotion that came from that, she's going to be a bit more gentle in reaching out. Um, 
and we'll kind of just say, you know, can we talk? As you ask, when you talk to him, do you speak out loud or do you, it's mostly in your mind? Um, I would say in her mind. You feel like for a moment, just a bit of a chill, then a bit, a bit of a comforting warmth as you feel his presence right behind you. What can I do for you? Are you um okay? I I guess um I don't know. I'm sorry if bringing you out to deal with that was a lot. Are you Worried about me? I just know that was not easy for any party involved. You seemed upset. Hmm. Well, don't worry about me, dear. If you knew only the things I have to endure every day. Doesn't mean I should add to them. So. Um, anyway, and then like, we'll kind of like look up at Percy and be like, what do you want me to ask? Usually when I talk at this point, I end up putting my foot in my mouth. But um, I don't know what it's capable of. Is there a desire in it to help these people? Does it have something it could do? Um, can you gain any motive or any reason why this happened? Why, why would somebody decide to stitch back together people? Why would they kidnap their kind? Or what exactly you're asking me specifically? I it... just want to get a read on this person. If you can Oh. give us any information to who this is I can try hmm you don't happen to have anything of his with you right now do you do we have anything of his I don't think we do yeah actually oh. in my bag and pull out his notes hand oh, it over yeah. um and she'll like take the notes and kind of like spread them out And you, Percy, you, you don't see, well, you, you see, what you see, Percy, and what Cade you see are two different things. Uh, Cade, you do see uh, the hand of Andrew Mellis as he's just going over like your shoulder and moving around those papers that you like more or less reading them. For you, Percy, the paper is just moving magically. <laughs> Shoot it. <laughs> Do you fire the paper, Percy? No, that was a joke. I don't shoot it. <laughs> I let it ride. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're in a house full of scared people. Been <laughs> scared I start, people. I'm just raining fire. Yeah, I'm sure that will not like get a neighbor's attention even more, right? Yeah, no. They're like, wow, Bia's really having a party in there. That's, That's crazy. Right. 
Who needs bass when you have gunshots? That's right. Uh, Cade, could you uh, do a youth magic for me, please? Guess who is so good about pulling up their notes but not pulling up their character sheet? Give me a second. <laughs> right. I don't know. Because I definitely don't have my character sheet pulled. <laughs> Where are you? Not us Where being professional you? streamers. You're professionals. You are We're professionals. We can do this. We can do anything. So it is now the 24th. It's like the following morning, or is it still the 23rd? Um, I think we're still the 23rd. I think it's still the 23rd. We're, 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 we are wrapping up the, the 23rd right now. Okay. The evening. Yep. Okay. Okay. Cool. I'm just trying to get a beat on where we're at. That's all. We uh, that is right fully now. valid. No, that's good. That is a 12. That's a 12. That's a good roll. Yeah. All right. It's weird. I never get to use it weirdly. Weirdly. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I see what you did there. So. Uh, Well, this, I'm not sure exactly who that is. I don't have a, an actual name or face to show you for what would have been their f face. It's not what it is anymore. And what I see is, well, people's true image, so maybe a bit different. But what they're dealing with, that is old. So old. You mean what they're using to do this? Oh, yes, and what they're No. Do they really wish to bring it forth? It... Um, I'm not sure how to name it in the moral tongue. Uh, it doesn't really have a name per se. Or it is it is what the best way I can describe it is how the angels are in a way, way distant, distant cousin of mine what this is a distant cousin to what many of you may call your current divines so a god something like that Something. And I think that part Kate does say out loud. Uh, just says, so a god? Well, what? God? Older. Further. The universe is strange and grand. And. Oh, God. Mercy space go fail. <laughs> More or less trying to, you know, bring forth. I don't think any more, honestly, I don't think any mortal being sh could <laughs> have such being inside them. So something close to an old god of some sort is here creating... That's... Well, no, that they're not them, they're just more or less uh, like your your lovely uh, folks in your church they they, they worship like uh, this Jesus Jesus fella like you no know, similar type of thing they just wish to spice up the, your world I guess and bring him back oh yeah that's a god that's that's what we call yeah like maybe like a little G little G god is that what we're talking 
Something like that, yes. Okay. Um, we'll kind of like look up at uh, Percy and Beyonce. So, um, yeah. Something like an old god, sort of, because, you know, our terms are a bit more. Bit, um, rudimentary, I guess, to describe these things. But, uh, what, 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 old god? Yeah, more information. I understand the concept. Don't get me wrong. I do not, but what I will a, figure it out later. I will explain. What about an old god? Is it being brought back? Is it here? Is that what we fought? Don't answer that. I know that's not correct. What about an old god specifically? Why are we bringing this up? Because we only got like a very small amount of that conversation. Um, is it is he the god, or is he trying to bring back a god? Oh, he's not. Whoever is doing this, by no, uh, no mean a god. Otherwise. Whatever they would be doing would be apologies way out of your friend's league. Uh, work. It would work. Uh, Whatever he's trying to do. Just like, like um, some angel or demon. Sometimes we you know there are creations that are made to fight in wars. Like some celestial being. I'm essentially try to hear from what I can gather here. Create some little foot soldier for that. Someone's trying to start a war. I know. How oh, dare they to third party the end of the world? And, and like she's she's relaying all of this. Okay, I'm sorry to keep playing this game. The telephone. Can you ask it? Does he realize that I can actually hear him? Right. Uh, they can hear you. And uh, forgive me for not asking. Uh, where are you from? Well. Yeah. Okay. I know you can hear me. We've talked before. All right. Just. How long do we have? I can't look Cade in the eye because we're not asking Cade. This is awkward. I'm. Tell me what they say. Get together, Percy. I've never had it together in my life. That's a good point. Take another swig from my flask. Does Cade have a drink yet? <laughs> uh, he has not gotten Cade a drink yet. He uh, said he was gonna get Cade a bottle. I was gonna say Bia. Uh, right, right. I was gonna say Bia probably has pressed a cup of hot chocolate into Cade's hands, ah, but <laughs> yeah, but is also sending Percy a very sharp look at that. <laughs> I don't think he notices. He's somewhere, way too pressed. Somewhere fifteen minutes away at Percy's house, Tiffany's doing research on old gods for no reason. She's just got a book in front of her because she randomly pulled it off a shelf and has no idea what's going on. She's just very sneezes. confused as to why that's the book that she decided to pick. Crazy. It's, it's asking me how much time you have. That is honestly another question I can't answer. Like, time is certain things in time and in the grand scheme of things are just. Takes control. <laughs> out of my realm. <laughs> trying to do the time warp again. I'm panicking I and <laughs> therefore am in musical mode. I am panicking and therefore in goofy mode. Yeah. Yeah. Silly, silly goofy mode has been activated. Yep, I'm doing my best. Being goofy is an excellent being yeah. goofy is an excellent defense mechanism. This is so over Bia's head and yet Sarah is like freaking the fuck out and I don't know what to do with this energy now. <laughs> Cause I can't give it to Bia. Anyways. Could do the time. Exactly. Thank you. Anyways, so sorry. Sorry. Um, timing we don't have an answer on. Um, next steps. 
baby. I mean, it entirely depends on what you wish to see happen. You want to stop him? However, we have to. Well, the easiest thing is to find him, or at least maybe find whoever, if he's not working alone. Might not be working alone. I've met my fair share of cultists in my days, dear. They're more social than you would believe. And we'll kind of like relay that to them like I um we're dealing with a cultist of some kind trying to bring back or bring about bring into this realm I I'm not sure some god and is trying in what we saw and had to deal with that's their attempts at creating an army of sorts foot soldiers he said um, okay uh that part I can I can get my head around that. Um lovely. That is horrible. Okay. That's not good. Okay. <clears throat> is it how imminent is it? Do we have even like, you know, next couple days? Do we have anything? I don't oh. know how we can find out. Unless, unless, you know, demon has some answers, we can decipher them. I mean, because they were lucky to stitch an amalgamation of souls together. Don't get me wrong, it's quite impressive in itself. But don't worry, it's not gonna happen tomorrow. You're not gonna open your door to see the rapture. I'd always have, hopefully, would have a heads up on that. We've got some time. I mean, considering the point that they were at when we encountered them, I don't think they're quite at the foot soldier level so i don't think they're gonna reach that level you know tomorrow but okay clearly they're okay. getting closer to what they want then all right to be entirely honest i don't think it matters all that much i don't care if it's tomorrow i don't care if it's three years from now we're finding this guy as soon as possible because he's gonna hurt somebody else i i agree I agree with that. Is there... I hate to... I almost hate to ask this. Is there anything he can do for the people in this house that we got from them? I don't... We still need to be able to talk to them, see if they can tell us anything. But uh, if they can just stay put for a little bit and just kind of like a bubble sort of thing. So we can do some investigating and I can leave my house without without panicking over them. Like find somewhere to put them all? I don't know about put them, but I, I don't know. Keep them here, Yeah, I guess. Can you keep an eye on them still for me? Um, just so we, you know, um, make sure they're going to be okay and we can 
go and figure out who's doing all this. We can try. Keep them safe. Because we can't be here all the time if we're going to figure this out. We're going to need all hands on deck. I, I hope that you understand that. Most of my reach in your realm is purely through you. So, as much as I would love to do everything, you may have to, well, use the gift that you have access to. Um, and to the inverse, you'll say, I can keep an eye on them. Um, we can keep an eye on them. Uh, I can stay back. You know, they're going to have more, you know, footing in this better than me. So. You said that you had Tiff and you dropped her at Percy's, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna call her real quick. I got I got an idea, but I need to run it by her first. Yeah. Uh, Cade, if there is anything that like you would like like to attempt to do magically, because as you know, it is reach well, it's limited, right? It's mm. he's not an omnipotent god, and he does not have any physical vessel in this world. Otherwise, things would be quite different. Yeah, I'm sure it would be quite interesting too. Uh, you may always attempt to do some to tap in into the magic potential and do it try to do things that are slightly outside of your character sheet in order to be able to do something uh, it would be a possibly a bigger magic type of day thing but if you wish to keep an eye or temporarily ward this house or whatever you want to do uh, and still allow you freedom of movement outside of it, uh, you may attempt it. Uh, yeah, I think a ward um, is going to be our best bet. I can't really think of anything else that would be yeah. like, actually helpful. Is it a ward that would be able to do something or just like a warning? Um, Could I make it whatever you want to try to do. Okay. Some things may require you to uh, draw around the house <laughs> and create some interesting gravity. Crafty drawing. Yeah. yeah. I cannot speak English. Uh, which to be fair, I don't think English is your first language, so it is not surprisingly. <laughs> English is my first language, and I can barely speak English. You're doing fine. You're, You're doing, doing fine. great. You're speaking you speak more, more than languages than language. I can. <laughs> Jealous. But yeah, you you can try. Um, I think Cade in that case is going to sort of. Um, without saying anything, uh, like put her mug down and walk outside mm -hmm. and, uh, kind of like stand in front of the house, looking at it. And what kind of trees does like, are there trees around Bia's house? That's a question for Bia. Oh yeah. There's definitely some like, there's probably some like old growth type stuff. It's probably like piney stuff in Pennsylvania, some pine smoke. Mm. So like pine cones might be a thing. Yeah. Then she's going to go look for pine cones and place one at the north, south, east, and west of the house. And then she's going to kind of step back and say, all right, I know I've asked a lot of you today, but one more thing. As you wish. 
and she's going to try to cast a spell that kind of protects the house and if anything with evil intent tries to come in um it will kind of like bar them from entering and also like give a warning all right uh roll me weird oh gosh let's really hope this goes well it's gonna be okay that's 11 pretty good i will take it (laughs) All right. Uh, So to your knowledge, a ward is in place. Wait, what do you mean to my knowledge? (laughs) I mean... (laughs) Is there a ward? There's a ward. How effective it is. I I guess, depending on what it is against for, right? Depends on what I roll when the situation arises, I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay. No. Certain things will have, will may or may not try to overcome it. That's you are muted, Panda. I I know you're having a gay panic over there, but you're muted. I am. I'm in my gay like Midwestern queer. We can understand each other armor. Um, <laughs> name a Midwestern queer woman that does not have this exact same shirt, and you would be lying. Anyway, I was about to say I was about to be like uh me, and then I was like oh wait, not woman. That explains it. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I don't have it. Yeah, it's one of those things where uh, I was gonna say, let's be positive here and not like, yeah, when, if, if a situation arises, and we have to roll for it for the protections. <laughs> let's just do if. <laughs> if we don't need to worry about when. Yeah. When have you ever had to worry about something in this game? Mm-hmm. Look, I have protection, like actual protection wards on my house that I have to replenish on a regular basis. There you go. All right. So, beside this, anything else you wish to accomplish before we jump in the 24th? Um, Bia is going to call Tiff and uh, call Percy's, assuming that Tiff is still there. And, um, just ask about you know i know i know your nana likes to kind of take people in sometimes do you think she'd be able to keep an eye on this bunch for us i don't see why not i mean she's got that big ass bunker from the ward like that we can house like 40 people over there if we needed to but like as long as you don't care if they're around mama because i drove by the house and mama's over there or at least was okay mom and the kids are over there so maybe Ooh. drop them off later tonight or tomorrow yeah. or just call over there i mean you can just call them they know you yeah i will i will do that then instead all right once we get it figured out i'll call and let you know we're probably gonna head back over there all right i'm i'm gonna be down in the basement i might be asleep but i might be studying i don't know yet all right make sure you get some food yeah yeah i already had a snack but um i miss jimmy he left before I got to his house. They no, left for huh? the Poconos today, so. Oh, that's real rough, huh? Hey, I yeah. got some, there's some leftover stew in the fridge. You get that on a pot and heat that up. Yeah, that's what I had. I had a little bit of that and I had a shot of whiskey and now I'm studying. Oh. Yeah, you're your daddy's daughter. All right. She hangs up the phone as soon as you say that. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Tifer, you asked. Uh, there is. I don't have to do it immediately, but there's one thing Percy would like. Hold All right. It turns to the ritual. Everybody else could act beforehand. I just like want to to state. No, I mean, go, go for it. Tell me what okay. you you want to do. Uh, he wants to return to his house and talk to his daughter. Maybe. Okay. Um. But uh, before he does so, yeah, no, yeah, um, he'll look at at Bia and Caden go. After nights like this, it is you best not to stay alone. So maybe you guys could stay here with Keish and it's okay. And it's just best to have company. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can't get at least a couple of this bunch to uh, over to the walkers. 
Because they're used to hosting. Oh, trust me, they are used to hosting. That is correct. And so I think it might also not be a bad idea to split them apart anyhow. That way, if one location's compromised, hopefully it won't be everyone. I don't want to put the walkers in danger. Is there any way that we can? No, I don't think so. Huh. I... Have you met my papa and all of the weapons that that man owns? <laughs> <laughs> I, I reckon that they'll be more likely to get here. And now that it's warded, I'm more comfortable with that. And besides, I know, I know Bet Walker. She's got, she is not unfamiliar with folk magic. This is true. I would just hate for her to realize that she was right the whole time about it. The, the, there's enough iron nails around the perimeter of that property to keep out anything. I'm right. pretty sure she got railroad spikes in the front door. <laughs> okay. Well, you all take care of yourselves. You take care of you. You know, for once in my life, I'm not lying when I say I'm trying. There are other people who need to be taken care of. Too. And she's going to hold out. She's holding out her hand and she goes, give me the flask. It means literally nothing. And I'll put it in her hand. You know how much shit I got around everywhere, but symbolically, there you go. Indeed. You're well, welcome to have some. Whatever's left. Okay. <clears throat> uh, and he'll go drive home. I guess, I guess, um, like one of the cars. So you guys just have the one left. Back. Is he taking freaking Bia's car? I, probably, yeah. There's oh probably very little, like, he, he probably doesn't even think to ask. He just grabs the keys off the table and goes. <laughs> um, but he'll go drive back no to track. his house to go talk. All right. So. Uh, all right. If you wish, you can play out this scene before we... Uh, rapidly jump into the next day. Let's start Christmas on a good note. Yeah. <laughs> Is Tip awake when he gets there? Uh, what time does he get there? Probably late, given how long they were talking. This is probably like an hour and a half, maybe two hours after the paper. Yeah, it probably took quite some time, so it's probably fairly late in the day. So it's like late evening after dinner? Yeah. Time, but not like right before bedtime kind of thing, right? Like, so like I mean, bedtime is relative, right? You know. Yeah. Especially when you're drinking. Mm. Um, no, Tiffany's probably up, but she's in the lawyer library. Like she's just reading and studying and like just prepping for stuff for the spring. Uh he'll come down, see her reading a book. Silently acknowledge that, yeah, definitely got her. Um uh, and just knock on the door frame to alert her to his presence. Oh, hey. uh hey. When you came Notice. in, there was none of the Christmas decorations. Everything's in boxes by the front door. Notice that you took down all the uh, decorations. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry. Like, that, I should have asked first. You very clearly told me that you don't like people messing with your stuff. And I walked in here like I own the place and I shouldn't have. And you notice, like, over in the infirmary side of the basement, like, there's that one little ceramic tree sitting right next to the bed she's been sleeping in. That's the only thing still up. Good thing guilt can't kill. Um, look, kid, I am not good at sharing. That's that's fair. It it's not just my stuff anymore. So, I don't think you have anything to apologize for that harmed me. I had good intentions. I accept your apology on the length that you recognize that it upset me, but nothing more. Right. I do feel bad, though, because, you know, I mean, I didn't realize how much you didn't like Christmas. You know, it's not Christmas, actually. I mean, the date of Christmas is a sore spot, but 
it's it's holidays. It's any time where you're supposed to be happy. Um, Just kind of try to make the most of it because I know the feeling. Yeah. God, it's so hard. This whole dad shit. Really making me work on it. Uh, okay, look. She Hold picks on. up the whiskey bottle that's sitting on the floor next to her and just puts it on the table and gestures at the chair next to he her. He sits down, grabs the bottle, starts to open it and stops. Just a small bit. Takes a little sip. Sets it back down. Oh. All right, look. I guess we never had the talk, so this is not that talk. God, not that talk. She, she looks at him and confuses and goes, I'm pretty sure we did have this talk. Well, yeah, okay, <laughs> yeah, but I'm talking about... I told you and Kate back there in the tunnels that this was the life you chose. But I don't think that either of you understands what that means. She kind of chuckles a little bit and taps on a letter that's sitting on the table next to her that was taped to her window. From Is her that boyfriend, from boyfriend? Oh. who left town before she could go say goodbye after she said she was going to try to run by the house and say goodbye. Well, he doesn't know that, so he just stares at the letter and just like I said, goes, was that from your boyfriend or something? Mm-hmm. And she'll slide it across so you can read it. I, I don't know what it says yet. I'm going to get that later, but I have the gist yeah. of it. And it basically okay. is like, I hate that I missed you. He'll cut it open and read it. Oh, it's open. Like the letter is just sitting there. Okay. Open. Yeah. Like, okay. Okay. Just... So you've read it. You've read it. Yeah, okay. I've read yeah. it. I know what it is. Okay. So so he'll, he'll read it and just kind of let it drop and go. Sorry, kid. That's fine. I just hate no. that you had to do this alone for so long. Because this kind of sucks, but. It does suck. I haven't had anybody to spend Christmas with in 10 years. And. You know what? Weirdly enough, I'm okay with that. I got used to letting it go and not caring. And the only reason I was upset about the Christmas stuff is because I felt like. I had to tell you that you would have to let it go, too. And that felt so. Mean. Do we really have to, though? I did. Not saying it means you have to. But Christmas Eve, that is the day I was labeled as the madman of this town. I didn't know that. I'm sorry. It's fine. Most people don't know. Um, Nobody likes to talk about the sheriff going crazy, make you feel unsafe. But that was the night I saw a girl You're get killed crazy. by something I couldn't explain. I, I know, I know. I'm... Crazy is such a relative term. It's just a word used by people who don't understand what you do. That's fair. I'm not trying to make this about me, Tiff. I want you to know that I understand what you're I'm jealous because you and Cade and Mia have somebody to talk to about it, and I wish I had. Glad that you do. So. Hey, Dad, you said something a couple weeks ago. Um, the day that, that Keish got hurt. Yeah? You said that you were worried about losing me. Yeah. You don't have to worry about it. Well, of course I do. No, you really don't. I'm not going anywhere. This good. You you this is what I'm trying to tell you. This life is dangerous and it's difficult and losing somebody it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And I'm not saying that to scare you or to seem down. 
Like I said, I have come to terms with this. And of course, I will worry about losing you because it means that I won't be able to make more memory. But I am damn sure going to enjoy the memories that I have now. And hope, and this is selfish of me and I won't apologize, that I don't lose you someday when I am old and brittle. You lose me. Yeah, hopefully really old and really brittle. And we've all retired from this. Well, if my drinking habits are to say anything, it ain't going to be that old. She takes the bottle away from <laughs> And yeah, slides just, it across the table because you've been doing a lot better. Just like Bia. I like You Bia. know she took my flask? I really like Bia. Yeah, me too. Except when she makes me run because she knows how much I run already. And damn, sometimes you know, the flask is exhausting. I am terrified one day she's going to wake up and realize that she's good at making people work out. And she's going to look at me and she's going to see this extra 40 pounds and realize she could do something about it. I hope that never happens. She likes the extra 40 pounds. You think? She likes you just like you. you th do you think I'll, do I'll wear it good? Yeah. He, kinda, he like sits up like trying to suck it in. Why do you think I'm the prettiest but... to all the sisters? And I just <sighs> kind of look at him and raise an eyebrow. Why do you think I'm, I'm the one they put in all the pageants? I'm pretty. Yes, Dad, you're pretty. You know, on second thought, I think this conversation has probably run its course. Uh, Are we going to do anything kid? for Christmas or not? Because if you don't want to do anything, that's fine. But I got you a Christmas present. I got you a Christmas present, too. Did you? I can't remember last time I got a Christmas present that was like a present present. You better hope that your mom just disappears off the face of the planet and never has to end up have another conversation with me because the more that I hear. She usually just buys me like makeup or clothes or stuff like that. She doesn't do like present presents. We can probably do a Christmas thing. I'm going to be so honest with you. I'm trying to be fair and like a good dad. I got to research ancient dead gods. Um, and I don't know how long that's going to keep me awake. I'm I mean, horrified I've got about it. books on old gods right here that I'm researching for my spring term paper for stuff. What? You possessed? That's when Bia we've been is trying to, to come in with Cade. <laughs> figure that out since <laughs> this happened, and she lights up her hand for a second. You guys walk in and see Tim just like fire on her hand. <laughs> like, I've been trying to figure that out for over a year now. Uh, no, why would you ask if I was possessed? I'm just working on school shit. It's just weird. Oh, hey, BFK. What? Wait, what are you doing here? Where'd the tree go? And there was Bia no tree. Has... There oh, was no tree. It was everything then, but the okay, whole thing was yeah, that okay, we, I forgot that we wanted part. to get a fresh tree because we didn't have any trees. I forgot about that part. Then in that case, Bia would have remembered that. Because she has in her hands a tree box, and Kate is carrying another cardboard box of ornaments. There's ornaments at the house too, but she just didn't hang them. But she's got all you the other Christmas stuff. Is all too many broadcast Christmas specials. Yeah. So <laughs> nothing wrong with the Charlie Brown Christmas. Don't you, you keep that out of your mouth? <laughs> I mean. He really doesn't like Christmas, so I just... No, was... no, I am not going to be Scrooge, all right? We can bring in the gifts, bring in the presents. I will not have myself being visited by three ghosts tonight. Let's liven the place up. Why Wait, not? I can put the decorations back up? You can put the decorations... She immediately throws her arms around his neck, gives him a huge kiss on the cheek, and runs upstairs and starts unloading everything again. So we montage through. <laughs> yeah, we play some. Hold on, I'm gonna play some Christmas tunes on my computer real quick. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the, like the, the most the most montage thing going on, like trying like to like put shit on on the outside with a ladder and freezing your hands and like almost falling and yeah, we, we we've all seen the classics. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Now, uh, well, perfect. So. And Tiffany runs down to the basement once. As soon as we have the tree set up, she's got presents for everybody and they're already wrapped and she starts shoving them under the tree. Uh, 
wonderful. All right. With this out of the way, let's jump in on the 24th of December here in Fairwick. Um, let's see how I, I want to do this. Where's everybody on that day, on, on that morning? Where's everybody? Probably. B is at Percy's. Apparently at, at Percy's. Percy's. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm assuming, Tiff, you're probably there as well. Yeah, I stay, I, I stay usually between Percy's house and my mom's house, but because I don't know specifically where my mom is, yeah. I was already there. I just stayed at Percy's. All right. And like, stuff, went over home. There. You went home? Yeah. Reasonable. All right, perfect. Uh, Bia, what time do you usually wake up, even on the 24th? Bia is such an early riser. She is up and at them by like seven and is making tea. Not coffee. No, no more coffee. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. Yeah, we're uh, we're done with coffee for a little. Are you about to ruin tea for her too? I will not ruin tea. <laughs> Maybe. Oh no. Yet. Yes. Can you can you like do me a favor and just roll weird for me? Yep, I surely can. All right. We've got some Okay. Sure. We got Oh, goody. That is a Four minus one. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um, I'm incapable of rolling good for a vision. I mean, That's you're fantastic. doing you're doing fantastic. <laughs> you're doing great, uh, sweetie. You are doing uh, wonderful. Uh, you are there making your tea, waiting for the water to boil. Uh, Get a, just a blurry image in your brain. Uh, it's nearly impossible to make sense of anything. You get a massive headache first thing in the morning. Good for you. And you also like feel a weird little prick on your ankle. Okay. Like somebody like just like a little like sewing needle and just stab you with it. I think she's gonna like slap at her ankle, just pure instinct. Just... Um, yeah, it's just a little 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 droplet of blood. Like you, like you, you look at you are like physically stabbed with something. Does she see anything, or can she very quickly figure out like, oh shit, oh shit, vision? Uh, you can certainly roll for that, oh, uh, which would be uh, maybe like, I don't know, either investigate a mystery or read a bad situation. Uh, I can try to investigate a mystery. It would probably be better in this case. Okay. Darn it. Because investigate a mystery, I'm not as good at. But that's okay. I'm at least better I now. I mean, you've oh, been rolling fine. fantastic so far, so. <laughs> well, that's that's okay, because I still rolled 11. So yay. Okay. All right, so uh, uh, go for what it. What happened yes. here? <laughs> uh, what happened here? You got stabbed on the leg by a tiny little thing. Great. Look, I never said that my answer had to be helpful. They're just honest. <laughs> like, I just tell the truth. God damn it. Um, I think you still have one more, right? Yeah. I do, and I'm trying to decide because there's two <laughs> that might be useful but also fuck if i know if they're gonna be useful with you um <laughs> uh, look i'm gonna i'm just gonna have fun today okay uh, yeah, yeah. i'm not gonna break anybody's heart you're not allowed to you're not allowed to have fun don't tell um, him that <laughs> we Fine, will bring you pain. But, um all right i'm gonna say what sort of creature is it uh hmm Good question. 
Well, considering that, like, the height of your ankle, um, it does limit it to various, you know, little thing. Uh, there's always some, like, weird Yule spirits and elves and things like that that are sometimes mischievous. Um, so, yeah. There's all sorts of things. Uh, considering the fact that you have not really seen it, and you're not able to see anything right now, but you swear you may you you're in the you're in the kitchen, right? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, Percy, do you have like a rug in your? Uh, what, what's the? Do you have like, a general layout of your like house? Yeah, I'm assuming your kitchen is connected to your li living room and shit like that, right? Yeah. Um. Do you have a rug? On, on your living room. I have always imagined one of those really, like, gross brown or Yeah, that's what I imagine. Yeah. 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 Uh, that, that would track. Uh, you swear you do see a little footprint on that rug. They're, like, Is almost mouse sides. Oh. Look, I told you I'm, I was going to have fun. Um. Okay, she's going to... Like, once the her tea's boiled, once she, and she's like got that steeping, she's gonna try and like follow the footprints, and that might be the point where the smell of the tea and also like she's got some like banana bread baking, and so that might wake up somebody. Are you like going like on all four, like trying to like let's see what? Yes. All right. <laughs> so if anybody's waking up next. Good. Do we want to do rollies to see who wakes up next? Yeah, I, I want to see who like see that side, like we see like beyond all <laughs> four, right. looking like she lost her shit. There's a, I've got to have a D four around here somewhere. To, I'll tell you exactly what time she wakes up. I'm gonna roll, I'm gonna roll a D four, and it's gonna be between like seven thirty and whatever seven eleven thirty. Okay, I will also roll a D four. Uh, <laughs> uh, she does. She gets up at she gets up at like eight thirty. Roll the one. <laughs> oh, so then you get up right, like right now. Yeah. Oh wait. Oh, low is win. So okay. yeah, Percy. How many hours? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Percy. So you wake up um, as grog is. You wake up in the morning, uh, probably in the need of coffee. Uh, and you smell. And one first thing you see is a bee on all four in the middle of living room, doing whatever the fuck she's doing right now. Percy's just staring at her ass. Let's be honest. I was about to say, I think he does get distracted for a moment. It's silent. Kind of shakes his head. Um, that's not how you clean. We I, we got like something to. No, you good? I'm good. I'm good. I thought I dropped something. It's fine. Oh, my right. tea's ready. Are um, you like limping or something or? I mean, it's not enough to like to okay, make okay. you limp. It's just there's a little bit like you. There's like a little something on her palm, probably from where she like swatted at it. But uh -huh. all right, um, happy early Christmas or whatever. Oh, uh, is that banana yeah. bread? Yeah, got uh, banana bread. Oh, um, I'm not used to being up this early. I didn't drink anything last night. And you know what? You know what? I'm calling it now, and I'm leaving this in the recording just in case. I'm going to fail every time I succeed. And the one time I really want to succeed, I'm going to fail. Yeah, I mean, that would track. That, that, very funny. That's Percy in a nutshell. Yeah. Hey, hey, uh, Frank, welcome back. Yeah. Can, I, can I ask a question? You can try. Can I? Well, I can't ask the question whether anything comes from me. That's... <laughs> um, can I try to read a bad situation to see <laughs> that something's going on? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Go for okay. it. Okay. Again, you can try. All right. Let's... Okay, that's a three. I have. I think that's automatically partially a success because I do. Yeah, I have a three to to sharp. So that's six. Six. All right. So it is One. a success. So seven. Seven. Wasn't a total okay. failure. So yeah, it's not a failure, total failure. Yeah. Um, so what do you want? Uh, you know what? I'm also ask what happened here. <laughs> what happened here? I mean, I could give you like, like I couldn't give you like a little dickish answer and just say that like, Bia got stabbed. But <laughs> I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Um, hmm. What would be a, a, a slightly less dickish answer? Uh, we must all ask ourselves at one point in our lives. Oh, yeah, it is like the, the, considering that I'm like naturally a sassy person. Um, uh, you have weird critters in your house. Let's just say that. Uh, Percy like steps forward and stares at the ground like for a long moment. I think he stares directly yeah. at where that that footprint was, and then he looks up at being goes. Take care of the rats eventually. Get just move into the kitchen. Um. <laughs> yeah, that's that's Ooh. that's fine. Um, she turns around and goes, "Oh, banana bread's ready. Let I'll get that out." I wish I had banana bread right now. Yeah, you're really making me want some banana nut bread right I now. I know, God, I know. Damn. I'm Means a fairway myself. where you watch I'm the show and walk away hungry every time. For some <laughs> reason. Or turkey. I think it's a monster of the week thing, honestly. Mm, mm. I'm thinking of the infamous French onion soup. <laughs> infamous French onion soup. I'm thinking of the mutant turkey. Oh, mutant ham. I was Sorry, thinking of ham. alien ham. I was thinking of Adventure Zone. <laughs> Uh, oh, anyway, anyways, so, uh, just a quick question, um, uh, for you, uh, Percy, like what kind of like, like food do you keep around like cereal, flour, things like that? And where do you keep it in your, keep it in your kitchen? Uh, I think it is the most boring ass man in his forties food possible. So it's like your real basic life cereal um milk there's some bread that is just about to mold it hasn't yet but like it's it's there uh so that you can make some toast there's some jam in the fridge that definitely has been like watered down once or twice so there's enough to to get out uh but ever since bia started coming around i'm sure there's also like some deli ham or something something actually edible in, in the fridge <laughs> all there's right perfect jar of pickles for whenever he gets hungover that, that's all right it. perfect i just wanted to know for reasons for no reason no all right um tiff eventually you do wake up uh yeah tiffany wakes up she gets dressed she pulls on her boots that have now been cleaned like three times um grabs her purse or not her purse she probably just grabs her wallet and her keys and she goes upstairs and she's like i'm gonna go grab groceries <laughs> All right, perfect. And I just kind of look at Bia and I'm like, I know what to get. And I go, cookies? Sure. Yeah, yeah, cookies. We'll do that. Do we have cookie cutters? I got some at home. All right. I'll be and back he's a cookie cutter if you're not a coward. <laughs> no, you know what? Bia you know, no, no, elaborate, elaborate on that phrase. No, elaborate on that phrase. Use that phrase for I'm. <laughs> no, no, tell me what that means, Frank. What, what does that mean? No, nope, I'm redirecting, and I'm saying that Bia I have absolutely has... used a glass before as a cookie cutter for sugar cookies. So oh, yeah. there you go. Oh, Bia has like one of those rolling pins that around. has patterns, like in the rolling pins, so she can roll mm -hmm. out pretty patterns onto the cookies and then just cut plain shapes. Yeah, because she and doesn't so like decorating interesting ways, but she does Tiffany like having them pretty. Is fully headed to the big like piggly wiggly that's out on the main highway as opposed to the little mom and pop stores that are in town and she goes and she picks up the she picks up an actual like good quality store-bought ham because we're trying ham again because <laughs> at this point we know we got that taken care of um she's gonna pick up uh she, there's no no time for turkey because we're not getting one thawed in time for the next day so it's going to be ham and she'll get the stuff for stuffing um she knows that uh kate is likely to bring cornbread uh she knows that kate and lakeisha both know how to cook greens way better than they do so she'll get the stuff for it and then let them handle it mm -hmm. um so she'll get you know the ham hocks that we need and the greens and all the seasonings to make sure that everything is fresh in Percy's cabinet. Cause she knows, um, stuff for, a uh, sweet potato casserole, enough potatoes, to make a big thing of mashed potatoes, a thing of green bean casserole, uh, stuff for rolls. And then everything that we need 
to make and decorate Christmas cookies. As well as a couple jugs of eggnog and the stuff to make fresh cocoa. And then looks at the booze and is like, fuck, I can't buy any of that. <laughs> I got to remember to call Cade when I get back to the All right. Speaking of Cade, let's go to segue right there. Cade, who is totally not distracted. <laughs> I definitely wasn't talking about seasoning. If that's no, not know. at all. <laughs> uh, what's your morning and what is your plan right now before you're ultimately probably at to Percy's house? Um, Kate's probably off today and tomorrow because she's probably the one that yeah. likes the most. So she's like, I'm taking Christmas Eve and Christmas off. Or everyone's off for Christmas. But I'm yeah. um, taking Christmas Eve off. Um, so she had a very slow morning. Kind of woke up, had her tea. Um, and knows she's got to head to Percy's at some point. But kind of like takes her time. Probably doesn't roll in until about 11.45. I could think. I could see her coming in around then. All right. Perfect. And, oh, bring. Wait. So, oh, bring us the cornbread. Yeah. We're doing the thing. Could you, could you imagine like just like doing all that and forgetting the cornbread at home? That would be so sad. Oh, <laughs> well, I mean, so we're sad. probably not doing dinner until the next day. So, I mean, she could probably just oh, wait, bake it at Percy's. We're just true. getting the groceries for the next day because grocery stores are closed on Christmas in the 80s. Uh, it's not like so it is now. Getting the, the stuff for the cornbread? Uh, Probably not because she did. Okay. She knows you, you had said you were going to make it for Christmas. So she's probably leaving mm -hmm. that alone. But she's bringing everything else. But I will say in terms of fresh seasoning... I'm going to sneak over to Nana's first and run back mm. into like her herb stores. And I'm going to yeah, grab the stuff that she's got me. growing in the greenhouse. <laughs> I'm going to get like fresh sage and fresh rosemary and fresh, fresh parsley, all of that stuff. I'm going to get Nana like the freshest seasoned. of the fresh, pull it out of the plants and hope she's not looking out the back window before I run to my car and leave. <laughs> Roll me a D6. Oh, sure. Four. <laughs> okay. She may or may not have spotted you. Well, if she spotted me, she didn't say shit, so I'm running. <laughs> uh, she knows I've been staying at Percy's a bunch, so yeah. she may know. All right. Perfect. So eventually, uh, all of you will reunite, like, roughly around 11.30 noon-ish. Uh, we'll come with the ingredients. Yeah. Percy's home uh, for, I'm assuming, some uh, cooking and... Yeah, other we're things gonna, we're going to start all the food prep work so that the next day is mm -hmm. really easy to just methodically bang out everything that we've got to do cooking wise because holiday food y'all you have to time everything yep. just i also got the stuff for homemade mac and cheese i was gonna say because uh, how dare you not have good mac and cheese on christmas bia would have also requested a good chocolate cake mix and other things to make a yule log cake She'll bring that. She'll probably get the stuff for like baked apples. We're going to go really hard on Christmas because we're going to make sure Percy has a really good Christmas. We've just decided he's getting a good Christmas this year, whether he wants it or not. <laughs> yep. And we're making all of the things and we're going to have enough food to keep till New Year's. All right. So while he's in the corner like, why, why? This is so much fuss. This is so much effort. <laughs> yeah. And Perfect. I would say like that afternoon, I am going to go hard on the we're all making cookies. All right. So are you as a collective working on cookies? Yes. Once the once the Yule log is done and she's got it in the fridge cooling to frost it. And she's like, all right, let's get some cookies. Hey, do you making cookies with us? OK, I got the stuff to decorate them. All right. So, I'm assuming... She literally bought a little snake cookie cutter specifically so we could make some, at least spiritually, for Demon Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Malleus gets cookies, too. She, like, looks at the snake one and she's like... He can celebrate, too. Click. Doesn't even click. <laughs> Bia pulls her Tupperware of cookie cutters. <laughs> she ran home and grabbed all her cooking implements. All right. Implements. Uh, wonderful. I picked up all the recyclable, or well, not recyclable back then, but like all the foil stuff to cook stuff in. Just oh, cut yeah. down on dishes. I got Christmas themed paper plates. Mm. Perfect. So as you are collectively in, in the kitchen, uh, baking cookies and preparing things, uh, you 
I'm assuming you did put like a Christmas tree at somewhere somewhere in a house. Where is it in the house? Is it in the living room or somewhere else? That is with the layout of Percy's house. It's probably in the corner by the TV in the living room. All right. Uh, what kind of all the all the decoration do you have on there? Uh, it's probably a mishmash of like the nice ornaments that Tiff brought from her. Family. So there's breakable shit then... in there. Oh yeah, there's glass yes. ornaments. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, why would you want to know of, that, Frank? There's also a bunch of little handmade ones from when Tiffany was a kid that her parents never put out, but they kept. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. her mom kept them, but she would never hang them on the tree because she didn't do like the crappy kids ornament. Which, by the way, I have crappy kids ornaments all over my tree. Oh, yes. Because when your kid brings home an ornament from school, you put that shit on your tree. You don't pack it away. But Ornaments my mom packed them the away. Tree. So Tiffany has brought all of those just to be. I want to see them hung on a tree for once in my life. And she put them all over the tree. (laughs) Like all of elementary, all of her elementary school pictures, like taped to it. (laughs) Yes. There's also some like ornaments that are like random neighborhood kids, because that's what B always has on her tree. And she brought her box of ornaments over. Perfect. And the rest of them, rest of them are really expensive, really nice glass ornaments that my mom bought just for appearances. She changes them every two years to keep up with the trends. Mm Hmm. And then Perfect. just keeps them all just in case. And Tiffany uh, just stole them because they never actually get put out. Sounds good to me. Uh, so as you're baking there and like getting into groove things, uh, m- some of you uh, may or may not be making a mess of things, depending on your uh, abilities to bake. Uh, I'm not looking at anybody in particular, but Tiffany's I know that... covered in flour. There we go. Um Oh, you got to use powdered sugar to roll out sugar cookies. Oh, well, yeah, but she's also covered in flour from making the dough. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. I think at some point while we're just in there fucking around, she grabs like a handful of flour and like throws it at Percy. <laughs> it's snowing, Dad, watch. <laughs> and now you're this an antique. For- this is going to take forever to clean up. It's, gonna oh, take- it's you fine, don't, I'll you clean don't it later. About it. You don't think gonna- about that right now, Percy, come on. It, it is going to... Okay, uh, t- behind you is a broom. Could you please go go grab the broom, please? She grabs the broom. And the moment she turns around, up. he tosses the flower directly <laughs> at her back. fight! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, no cookie will be made tonight. Uh, no cookies will get made, and but like half the amount we just initially anticipated, because yes. we're all eating the dough like we're not supposed to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're throwing sprinkles at each other hell tasser who cares about that Uh, we toasted uh, the flour first it's fine there you go Uh, uh, whapping people's knuckles as you are very much working hardly on on this uh, you do hear uh, something fall and break in the living room oh don't worry hold on I'm the one with well, actually, no, we're all covered in flour. I got it. Hold on. Give me a sec. Just the hell is kind of like brush it towards Tiff and then, and then go check what it is. Uh, you do see that like a few of the glass ornaments are just like on the floor shattered. Uh, I'm trying to decide if the paranoid Percy would be because it would be absurd to be paranoid about that. Um, so I'm going to ro- hold on. The tree's no. pretty loaded down with ornaments. We For probably once, covered he's, that thing. He's just like, oh man, yeah. that's okay. Uh, weird that they shattered on fucking shag carpet. All right, he'll start working on like collecting the larger pieces. He'll get down on his knees to do so. All right, perfect. Tiffany will look around the corner. Everything okay? Yeah, just some of the ornaments fell. No worries. Sorry, probably, you know, foundation's shaky. Give me a sec. <laughs> I'll go get the vacuum and she'll go like get right. the vacuum. Like we probably at this point have purchased like one of the old dust busters from the eighties. We have one of those and we're vacuuming the glass out of the carpet. That's why Percy, when he saw Bio, was like, there's an something to clip whatever. <laughs> He's going, Oh man. I have a question. It's an old tree, sorry. I may have an answer. Well, I was asking uh more so for the cookies. Is it is it like the cookies that you put the frosting on? Yes. Yeah, it's uh, the sugar, the yeah, sugar yeah, cookies yeah. that you put. You get yeah, the real thin like here. icing mm-hmm, and, mm-hmm. and decorate the cookies so with. Cade is like like <laughs> like head down like <laughs> yeah. very Let's focused. Go. Oh yeah! By the time we're done, I think that, that Tiffany is right awesome. next to her, and we're making like little pristine everything. 
Uh, We're like putting scales on snakes and like decorating all the ornament shaped ones and putting names on stockings. We're just being obnoxious about it. Okay, you made yeah, two cookies, cookies and it's just stacked with icing and that's it. There's no design, <laughs> just a ton of icing. Uh, Be Kate, just cleaning instead. <laughs> mm-hmm. As you are about like to like grab a different tube to change color, uh, you notice that a tube is missing. What color was it? Uh, just saying. Um, hey, where's the? Uh, where's that other? Where's that red? I have one of them. Where's the? We have like two. Where's the other red we one? We have two because that's like the most common color. But I don't know where the other one is. You are. You are. You do uh, notice that you're missing uh, a tube of like red. Cookie Darcy, frosting. Did you, eat, did you eat the rest of the red frosting? Do you think that I was just sitting in there eating frosting and nothing know. else? You have frosting Were on your you? face, Dad. What color is no, it? This is green. Uh, we're missing a tube of red here. You can use mine. Watch Damn it. Well, you gotta find it. Can I roll to look around? It on the ground? Yeah. Can I roll it's on the ground. See? We really shouldn't eat it, especially in here. I mean, I know I keep the house clean, but I haven't mopped in a couple of days, so after where we were yesterday, I don't trust anything that's touched this floor. That's very fair. I just want to make sure no one steps on it. Oh, that'd so be you're... so funny, though. <laughs> <laughs> Look, for uh, once, it's not blood. She makes <laughs> the actual joke. <coughs> Sorry, Bia. <laughs> oh, it's fine. So you're oh. looking around for uh, the uh, two of frosting on the floor. Uh, you don't see it in the immediate vicinity around the table. Uh, if you want to look beyond, uh, you could always, uh, I guess, investigate the mystery. I, mean, I would like to investigate the mystery. Yeah, I will help with that. Yeah. Um, investigate mystery is plus sharp, sharp, yeah? Correct. Oh. This is me taking I mean, I got a 10. point. You got a 10. I mean, mm-hmm. you can ask me two questions. I got a six, so Sweet. I'm just going to take my experience and go. Let me pull go. up that sheet of questions. Man, six what, uh, six. Oh, yeah, like. it is still fail. Look, yeah. I normally, I, I've leveled once based on experience alone. Since we started, oh, I've yeah. leveled one time. I always roll middle of the road. <laughs> it's never like really big, very rarely big successes and very rarely failures. I'm always like between seven and nine. Always. Yeah, you do well, but you fuck up at the same time, which is great. There we go. So. I'm 18. What do you want? <laughs> All right. So what are your I'm questions? I'm 41. What do you want? <laughs> Both apply. <laughs> it's basically the same thing. I'm, yeah. I'm 18 in game and I'm 41 with a, two kids. What do there you want you from me? Um, I'll ask first. Ooh. Hmm. 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 <clears throat> What happened here? I mean, I could give you the sassy answer and say, like, something. I have a mis- 10. <laughs> so? Good number. Um, Harmony, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what happened here? Um... You see on the floor where some like drop of like the tube would have like probably fell on the floor where it would have dropped and where do you where will it would logically be or around but you don't see the tube so you know it went from the table to the ground what sort of creature is it Hmm. A small one. Did we already establish that? <laughs> I will fight you. Are you here right it. now? Bring it I will on. Drive Fucking up rats. Fight hey, you, Frank, Frank, I just remembered. I uh, <laughs> You sent us your address so that we could send you that package one time, right? Let me just look that up real quick. <laughs> I, 
fully have Frank's address if we need to send him a glitter bomb. I can have it arranged. I would never. No, do no, no, I don't want to send him anything. No, but I will. I don't want to send him anything. I'm on, I'm on Rats' sticks. location as yeah. we speak. I hate Jay, driving. Don't worry. Jay will actively come here and fight me. <laughs> I'm coming right. I'm, well, I'm not going to say that. There we go. Anyways. We'll see the yeah, truth of the priority. You actively fight no. Frank. He has a lot of swords. Oh, what? What? Does he like fence all the time? Come on. What's the uh, likelihood that he just has a sword uh, ready for me? Hmm. What kind of creature it. it would be? I mean, I, I, I could say also, like, it'd be a dig and say it's a mischievous one. Um, hmm. It is not a creature that you encountered before, but if one would put it in the general, like, creature realm, it would be fae ish like. Okay. I think Kate's gonna kind of like look at the floor where it should be and be like, we're not alone. Fuck you mean? Oh. Uh, there's something taking shit. Seems kind of fey like considering it's taking shit. Mm -hmm. Tube is gone. That thing earlier was weird. Um, I have a feeling we have a guest. You guys got real quiet in there. Everything okay? Yep. Okay. Keep cleaning the ornaments. <laughs> I'm sure it's good for the vacuum. I mean, that's what they're designed for. Yeah. That's true. Nothing can kill those old dust busters. No. Um, we got ours yes. in like 1985 and it burned out in like 2015. <laughs> And you abuse the shit out of it. Oh, yeah. It has fallen uh, downstairs at some point. <laughs> it, well, I've physically seen it thrown against a wall. It didn't break. Jesus. We had that thing for literally like 30 years. But yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't want to scare Percy, but yeah, I actually no. didn't know if they were real. So this is interesting. Yeah, I didn't want to say it, but something did stab me in the ankle this morning as I was making my tea. Stabbed um, you in the ankle? Stabbed you in the ankle. That sounds ominous. They're no yeah. Uh, I Tiffany goes down to the basement and starts looking for books on fairies. She like just drops everything covered in flour and walks downstairs. Looks like just making a, a trail of like flour. <laughs> yes. She's like, it's like sprinkling off of the apron that she is wearing and she is going downstairs. All right. Perfect. So I would like to, can I like, is this read a bad situation or investigate something? I literally want to go look, uh, look on them and see if I could find, because as quick as she is with books and stuff, she yeah, it, if she could pinpoint something really fast. Uh, it would be very much, it would be very much in the realm of investigate and not read a bad situation because it's. Well, that's a little better. I mean, they're both require sharp, so. Yeah, uh, so that's a seven. So middle of the road again, yeah, at least average. this is a successful middle of the road. All right. Um, so God, what do I want to do here? Cause we we can use the flexible alternative to just kind of ask whatever, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, general question is, is there a, book down here on fairies I can pull out and we can just read through it and look for what's going on. She's going to just look for a book on information. Uh, That's what she's investigating. She wants to find a book that she can sit upstairs and just start reading through. There's like probably a few like book mentioning like little fey creature little uh, because all so many like worldly for folklore do you have uh, the equivalent of like fairy, mm -hmm. especially yeah, like when you when you look like, into like uh, Western European and like Icelandic and like like Scandinavian, there's Celtic, all sort of Celtic like is Celtic. Celtic is massive with that. Um, there is all sort of like. Um, Being uh, that it's Christmas, she's gonna focus on she's gonna focus on Celtic, Nordic, and Germanic, and see if there's any folklore books in that realm because it's likely one of those three being that it's yule time yeah yeah uh i mean you've you know i'm probably gonna pronounce that word poorly 
because I'm sorry, I don't fucking speak Gaelic or all that. Uh, but there's uh, something called a, a puka or whatever it is. It's actually like oh it, it God, loosely translate to like goblins and things like that. Uh, you loosely like read about things like that. Um, She's gonna come upstairs giggling with the book. And she's just going to hand it off to everybody and be like, so, hey, uh, uh, Ms. Bia, Kate, here. And she's just going to hand the book over and go back to decorating cookies. A puka? L- like the play? And she's just going to be giggling and she's just... Why would it be yeah. here? Uh... I don't know. Okay. Does does the book have anything about what to do to deal with a puka? Hmm. Good question. <laughs> uh, there's like just a few ways that you can deal with it. Uh, uh, they're difficult to just reason with. <laughs> Uh, most of the time you have to more or less like, and now I'm making shit up because I'm not going to like read about them completely because yeah, fuck it. Uh, if somebody want to fight me in the comment, they can do it. Um, sometimes like, you know, there's all sort of like lore about like awards or against them and like things like that. Uh, you can also try to like any like fail like creature and things like that. Uh, attempt to trick them to get out uh, but sometimes you know once they decide to establish themselves didn't hurt not necessarily like malicious per se they're not i mean i know they were, they were, some of them yeah. are even protective spirits yeah like they some 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 of them are, some of them are just very fighting. mischievous yeah um and who knows you may have like almost stepped on one this morning that's why they stabbed you who knows That's possible. Fair enough. Um, okay. B is like, all right, this is well out of my realm. Any other suggestions would be fantastic. I got. We uh, leave them some cookies. All right, guys. Your, the uh, ornaments cookies. have been cleaned we, up, we, we, and we leave cookies for Santa, and we leave them for them, and we ask them to go. It's fine. Everything okay here? Tiffany is giggling because folklore is her specialty. Yeah, yeah. Ev- everything's fine. Uh huh. Jesus. You want a cookie? She hands you one that's a little stocking that very intricately across the top says Percy in cursive. He grabs it, looks at it for a second, crunches into it way too slowly, and just squints. Is it good? Yeah, actually, it's real good. It's real tasty. So like go like she's been, she's been making cocoa like all night, like the really good. You make it with the actual cocoa powder cocoa. She goes and like ladles some into a cup and hands it to you. Oh, thanks. <clears throat> Right. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to go toss this out into the dumpster and uh, I guess, you know, we can all sit down and have some cookies. Um, so, Percy, you go outside, right? Yeah. Yeah, I go to toss it out. Uh, do you put your boots on? Uh, it's just a short trip. I don't see why I would. Okay. I speak for a friend. I mean, it's pretty cold. For, uh, well, here, let me ask the keeper. Because I, I said no because I thought it would be funny. Is it funnier yeah. if he puts the boots on? Oh, it's funnier if he puts the boots on. All right, well then, yeah, of course he puts his boots on. <laughs> uh, you put your boots on, and it's a bit squishy in there. Oh, no, not the frosting. <laughs> <laughs> I think he goes all the way out and takes out the trash before coming back and checking to see why it's squishy. Yeah, uh... What, what color of socks did Percy wear? You're assuming he put socks on? That's a great... Yeah, I don't think he put socks on. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> frosting! <laughs> uh, 
I mean, your 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 feet your feet are very red now. Oh, no. At this point, you pull your foot out of your boot, and we all see that it's covered in red frosting. And Tiffany fucking loses it. She is like on. She's leaning against the wall, cracking up, cannot breathe, laughing. If what the fuck? Pukas. Gazuntai. What the fuck is? <laughs> Uh, Percy, Can I roll to see if Percy knows what a puke is? Uh, sure, but that, that was also the best answer I could have. Ever. <laughs> that was incredible. Okay. Uh, I'm, not even, <laughs> I'm not even waiting for post show. Stars and wishes. Stars and that line. <laughs> that line yeah. right there. That uh, what, what do I roll to see if I know what a puke is? Uh, um... Probably sharp would be my guess. Yeah, just roll, just roll me a general sharp, dude. See, the problem is I only ever roll sharp, and therefore it's impossible to, to fail. Or you can go with weird, because it would be very, very much in the realm of weird things. <laughs> Whatever you want to do, buddy. I rolled, I rolled snake eyes, so it actually doesn't matter. I do actually, for once in my fucking life, <laughs> fail, no matter what we roll. <laughs> So no, no he, he does actually just respond Yeah, because you have no fucking clue what it is. Pukas. Have you never heard of Puka? We have a Puka infant station. We're going to give them some cookies tonight and ask them to go. Is that a toy you can buy they're at the fairies. store? They're, they're fairies. Fuck it. He stands up, hand on his gun, and like stomps into the basement like this has happened before. I just go uh, squish, squish, squish because they're still frozen in the Oh, that's not going to come out of the carp. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to go immediately find all of the most aggressive rituals I could find to dispel fairies. Uh, to start researching that. Tiffany's going to literally downstairs. stand in the kitchen and go, we know you're here. If you would like some cookies, we will be happy to share them with you if you will stop your mischief and go to the next house. There's some family down the street with some kids that will think you're great. You say your words. I say my words and I put a plate of cookies down on the floor in the corner by the back door. All right. So with that information, what is the rest of you doing? Tiffany is is scrubbing the red frosting out of the carpet. Yeah, it's going to take a while. Yeah, because she just cleaned the house like a couple of days ago, and now she has to shampoo carpets on Christmas Eve. Bea's gonna Indeed. go downstairs oh. and sees the frantic, like, probably muttering and cussing under his breath. Saying all sorts of unique and new curse words. She's gonna come up behind him, wrap her arms around his waist, and just go, I think Tiff's got it handled. I just, I want to be very clear. We have determined that my house is invaded by fairies. Yeah, and your you daughter. To just let it go and let my daughter take care of it. I reckon she probably already has. Your daughter who is planning to go to college to major in folklore. Let her do it. She ain't gonna get hurt. All right, I will let it go. But if I see even one tiny reference that they might still be in this house, I will show them a hell unknown by any (laughs) deep. Okay, Percy. Those are my good fucking boots. Stomp back up the stairs. Come back down. <laughs> Kiss me on the cheek. Stomp back down again. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I've got the carpet cleaner out, and I'm just like, I've got a rag, and I'm just cleaning all the frosting off. And he comes upstairs, and I yell at him, don't walk on the carpet. Go back downstairs to the bathroom down there and wash off. Please, I'm begging you. Can't even live in my own house. because Do you want sugar in the berries. carpet? That's how you get ants. <laughs> I'll burn the ants too. Oh, stop <laughs> <my> downstairs. 
Percy's just about to, like, move to a new house. <laughs> you know what? Burn it down. We'll start anew. We'll get another one. Oh, uh, God. <laughs> <sighs> what about you, Kate? What are you doing in the meantime? <laughs> Kate has gotten a little plate. And he's taken like three cookies and is just kind of like sitting on the couch and just watching all of this go down. <laughs> yeah. Just amused. This is a good Christmas Eve. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, Tiffany's probably put Christmas music on the radio. It's like bopping a little bit. All right. So, with feet clean, still a bit stained because. To die and <laughs> not frosting is just gonna stay there for a while, buddy. Uh, so with very red feet, um, cookies are baked, and all that is all well and done. Uh, anything that you wish to do as the we approach the evening uh, towards the actual Christmas day. I think B is gonna look around and just go so. Do we prefer a Christmas Eve gift exchange or a morning? Morning. All right, then. Tiffany very, very deliberately goes in and makes sure that the back door is unlocked after Percy goes to bed <laughs> so that the Pukas can let themselves out, leaves cookies, says out loud again, we're leaving you an offering. Thank you for playing with us today. Go have fun with some kids down the street because I bet they're going to have a blast on Christmas morning thinking y'all are like the coolest. We appreciate it. We needed a good laugh. Mm -hmm. And then she's going to leave like she's going to be really obnoxious and she's going to leave out like a plate of cookies and cocoa and milk for Santa <laughs> with like a carrot for mm -hmm. the reindeer <laughs> and yeah. go to bed. Gotta have yeah. the carrot for the reindeer. And she's gonna ask Kate if she wants to like stay over tonight and hang out yeah. so we can all open presents in the morning. Yeah. Okay. Well, come on. And there's two beds in the infirmary. We can go downstairs and talk and be ridiculous like teen 20 somethings. It like swipes a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> yes. We're gonna drink and 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 chit chat in the basement with none of the adultier adults around. Bia sees them like going down to the basement and it's just like, yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. So as you are, you know, going to your evening ritual and uh what actually for person who lives here, what is your uh um uh, evening night ritual? And or do you have any plan before you bed down? I think there are no rituals. Percy does what Percy does. It's usually unhealthy. Uh, but a lot of his evenings are spent in the basement and the lore library. So since that's, you know, currently occupied, um, I think he's just going to go out onto the porch outside. It's All very right. cold. but he's Yeah, it's pretty fucking cold. Totally fine with that. Uh, Bia brings just... out two mugs of hot chocolate. He takes the, the bottle of beer that he got from somewhere, who knows where, and Sets it down and holds out his hand for the mug. <clears throat> and she sits down next to him. She's got a blanket that she's wrapped herself in and like kind of like opens it up a little bit, kind of offering. Snuggle in just a little bit. You know what's funny? Hmm. I never wanted any of this on Christmas Eve. None of the good memories, people around. Presents, cookies. I I always thought it would be not worth having because I would be upset, as it probably wouldn't last all that long. But um, I guess the funny thing about a good memory is even after the events aren't there and people are gone, memory stays. Yeah. Well, sometimes the things that don't stick around long, those are the best. Well, I hope you stick around. I hope they stick around. That's the goal. Yeah, stay around here. 
make sure they stick around. Make sure all of this. And she gestures out to the town as a whole and make sure all of this stays around. Yeah. Um, I never did ask how you were doing after that night. The last one, the, uh, the sewers after the sewers. You, that's a question I should be asking you. I was, I'm okay. It's incredibly unnerving to have things like that pop up in my head and then they happen later and I see them again, but that's, cause you knew him. Yeah, well. Not the first time I've seen that somebody had, not that specifically sleep, but oh. I have seen a lot of stuff be and no, of course I wasn't still not, but you eventually come to realize that that's a norm. Hands shake, you can't sleep for a few nights. And eventually you figure it out and you adapt and you move. I did this alone for so long. I had to do that. And I feel just a... Why? I didn't change. You're... I didn't change the volume of my voice I at know, all. I know. I <laughs> know. It's just like in the last thing. Oh, is... that's ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that eventually... I realized that I did this by myself so nobody else had to. And now that so many people are here, part of me feels thankful, but the other, other part of me just feels selfish about it. Selfish about what? Now other people have to experience that too. It ain't your fault. None of us being here is because of you or related to you and well I don't know. one of you is oh well oh and she'd like wax him a little <laughs> yeah okay but my, my point stands as a whole you know it's not it ain't selfish of you to be glad to have people around and it ain't selfish of you even if it is, you know, a lot of us having mildly traumatic reasons for being here. It is what it is. I wouldn't... I wouldn't change anything. Yeah. That's, uh, that's the funny part. Pain is pain. It's supposed to be something that's bad, but... Pain is what brought us all together. We all share something common in pain, and we have a bond because I don't find that bond bad at all. Which is weird because I've always considered pain to be a bad thing. It ain't generally the best, no, but it's sometimes you need a little bit of it balance out it makes moments like this worth having worth fighting for if every night was like this just wrapped up in a blanket on a porch with hot cocoa on christmas eve be nothing to life then wouldn't appreciate it yeah well we have been through bad things and so I think if life were just us sitting, drinking cocoa, we could appreciate it. So maybe someday we get to do that. That would be good. Yeah. Get through this, save the world, and then, you know, go join the old folks on their rockers, yeah? Killing a god, yeah? Apparently. 
<laughs> explain to me the old god. You know what? No, I don't need you to explain. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. I got, no, I got, I got a book. Tonight. I got a book. Not tonight. Not Tomorrow. on Christmas. No. It's really day. interesting. It's really interesting stuff. I I'm sure it is. But Legends it's and myths. It is your first Christmas with your daughter. I'm still holding it. I'm holding that one over your head. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I I know. Uh, no pressure, right? She'll enjoy it. She's just... She's so excited. Yeah, well... He just kind of leans his head on her shoulder. Doesn't say anything else. Merry so, Christmas, Percy. Merry Christmas, me. Hopefully it's uh, one of many. So as you two are out there, you know, enjoying a moment, drinking some delicious odd cocoa. Well, when I say delicious, maybe not yours. Percy is a bit salty. Um, Uh, Burn those motherfuckers <laughs> to the ground. Look, I said I was going to have fun tonight. <laughs> said I was going to have fun tonight, and fun is messing with Jay. We all know this. <laughs> You're the one that was the most loud against those little creature. So of course they're going to fuck with you. <laughs> um... Cade and Tiffany, are you uh, chatting about anything or doing anything uh, on your side of the house before uh, Cade, we, we do the morning? About? Cute girls, cute boys. Cade would probably listen to whatever Tiffany's talking about and just kind of like go on with that. So if Tiffany's like talking about like the fact that she didn't get to see her boyfriend, she's going to be like, oh, yeah. And just like kind of like, yeah, it's going to be like one of those, like, I really wanted to yeah. see him. I mean, I did get to see him the day before that because that was his birthday. And I went and gave him, like, his presents. And he got me these. And she shows her these, like, really, really cute moonstone earrings that he bought her. Oh, um, so you know, we did because we knew he was going out of town. It just kind of sucks because I wanted to see him before he left because he's not going to be back till right before we have to go back to school. So his parents have a cabin up in the Poconos. So they go up and they kind of hidey hole for Christmas every year. Most of their extended mm -hmm. family don't live up here, so um i mean and you know um, how downtown can get on christmas when like if there's a big touristy thing going on so they just like to get away to from people i don't blame them for the tree lighting for the yeah Dude, the big do do so santa thing stuff? that they do tomorrow afternoon i i don't do any of that i just like hanging out i just can't yeah. wait to give everybody their presents in the morning i'm super excited this is a fun Christmas for me, and at least me anyway, because, you know, I actually have people that I can buy stuff for that are going to appreciate it, I think. I think everyone will appreciate it. I just appreciate, I so. you know, being invited to be here. We like having you around. I like having you around. I shouldn't speak for everybody, but I think everybody does, but I like having you around. I don't think it's me they're so worried about. Yeah, well, they shouldn't be worried about him either, because he doesn't scare me in the slightest. He's done nothing but help us. I don't care what anybody else says. He protects you and then protects us by default. Yeah. I um, appreciate him regardless, so. Sure, his ego would love that. I'm sure he's listening. He always is, isn't he? He always is. Whatever. You're cool. Um, it's just cool having somewhere I actually want to be. You know, I do have to visit my folks later tomorrow, but. Yeah, I should. Cool being somewhere I actually. I probably enjoy. have to call mama tomorrow morning. I can't wait until the afternoon. Yeah, maybe. Though I wouldn't be surprised if the phone didn't ring first thing in the morning. Because she was 
probably expecting me to be at the house tonight, but mm, sucks to be her. She should have been talking to me for the last couple of weeks. She's the one who fucked up, not me. Blood ain't always family and family ain't always blood. This is true. Though I guess technically with Percy it is, so. Sometimes, yeah. Blood is family. Works out yeah. like that. It's weird. I don't know. Family sucks sometimes. Sometimes they don't. I don't know. This whole thing is weird, right? It's weird. Like, just randomly, he's my dad now. The universe works in weird ways, you know? Yeah, well, let's hope some of those weird ways are college applications coming back soon, because I'm already, like, sweating that, because I should start seeing the first ones in the next, like, week or so. Your grades are awesome. I wouldn't be too upset about that, or too concerned about that. You're going to get into, you're going to have options. I hope so. I just hope UPenn is one of them because I don't want to have to go far. I'd like to be able to just commute, you know? I mean, I've got the car. I don't need to pay for worst case scenario, I have a dorm room that I can stay in if I need to, but I want to be able to get back here quick enough. We got stuff to do, you know? Why is weird shit happen? Why is this like ground zero for weird shit? Something tells me might be on the verge of finding out. Yeah. I heard there was some, like, talk of old gods or something at Bia's last night. I don't even know that I want to know what is going on there. I'm sure we'll figure it out. I just want to have a nice Christmas. Yeah. And I'll just, like, pass her the bottle. <laughs> I'm sure they and I are just, like, back and forth with the whiskey yeah. bottle, just <laughs> taking swigs. <laughs> Not getting hosed or anything, just hanging yeah, out. Just chilling. Perfect. I like that. So eventually, you no, know, it's later in the evening. You go to bed whenever you decide to go to bed. Uh, Percy, you're missing one pillow. I love Pukas so much. <laughs> you don't want to shit talk to him. They invaded my home. <laughs> I'm all I'm gonna say is look at which player is not practicing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, but I do live in a house with somebody who practices, so theoretically, <laughs> <laughs> theoretically, I should be protected. <laughs> uh, but uh, the morning of the 25th come. Tiffany is up at 5.30 a.m. making hot cocoa. She has spiked it with peppermint schnapps, and she is ready to go. Oh, my God. <laughs> she is in, like, Christmas pajamas. Ready to party already. She is, like, already, like, she's got banana nut bread has been warmed up in the oven. She's got all of the food that's going to start going in the oven, like, as soon as we're done opening presents for Christmas dinner. She's good to go. Perfect. At 5.30 a.m. She's being very, very quiet, like just kind of creeping through the house. She knows which floorboards are going to creak, so she's trying to avoid them. And she goes and she checks to see if the cookies are gone. The cookies are gone. She picks up the plate, wipes up the crumbs, cleans everything, puts it away, says thank you out loud to whoever is listening, and continues with her morning routine. Bia comes out at like six, ready to start doing stuff and finds it to be there's like, like, she's in, you know those 90s from Vermont Country Store catalogs? Mm-hmm. That with, like, a bathrobe over. <laughs> yeah, Tiffany is in, like, flannel Christmas pajamas. Like, she's yeah. in, like, the Buffalo Check pajamas. She's good to go. And yeah. she's literally, like, she put, like, just a dash of peppermint schnapps. Not enough to get people hosed, enough to just get the peppermint flavor without using, like, peppermint extract. And yeah. she's got, like, oh, yeah. all of the mugs lined up. She picked up Christmas mugs from her house that were hiding in one of the boxes. She's got all Christmas mugs lined up, ready to go with marshmallows and a peppermint stick in each and every one of them, just waiting for everybody to get up. All right. Yeah, eventually, you, you wake up. Uh, uh, well, go ahead, Bia. I was just going to... Good morning. Tim. Morning. Okay. And she's just like, yep, all right, here's how the day is going to go, I guess. <laughs> And just grabs a mug. <laughs> wait, wait, wait till everybody gets up. If I'm waiting for everybody to get up, I'm making tea. Okay. <laughs> and she's setting the kettle to boil. She's got some, like, chocolate mint, so she'll still have the, the vibes. 
but yep. it's like if I have the to wait for everyone to wake up. The whole house smells like peppermint when everybody gets up. Yeah. It smells like peppermint and sugar cookies in the house right now. She warmed up the banana bread in case anybody wanted it, but she is fully expecting to have sugar cookies and cocoa for breakfast while everybody's opening presents. Like a responsible person. She's All 18. Right. She can do whatever the fuck she wants as far <laughs> exactly. as she's concerned. <laughs> All right, so the rest of you eventually wake up uh, one by one. Uh, Percy, none of your things are missing. I, I don't put back. I don't think he believes that, and he spends extra time searching everything just to make sure. But eventually, he will. Did they clean uh... out the boots at least, so I don't have to do it for him? <laughs> I don't know. Did did Percy apologize? I apologized. We we know Percy didn't apologize. No, Let's not ask questions not. we already know the answers yeah. to. Look, you got to play your character flaws, all right? That's right. <laughs> so the boots are still are, are still sticky. Uh, well, I tried. Yeah. Well, he does not forgive. But he will go out to uh, to see everybody else. Is Kate upstairs yet? Kate's probably one of the last ones to roll out of bed. Soon as everybody says, good morning, and she's just handing out plates of cookies and mugs of peppermint cocoa. Well, okay. Very bright and chipper this morning. Ooh. It's Christmas! I look outside, did it snow? Yes. Yeah! Yay! It snowed last night. White Christmas. We got Coco. I wish Keisha was here, but I know that she wasn't feeling good, so she went back to get some sleep. That's understandable. I'll give her her present later, but I got presents yeah. for everybody. She's also got a lot to take care of with the uh, with the agency. Okay, all right, everybody, gather around because if I know anything about Tiff, she's gonna make us all open. The soon as possible she immediately goes into santa claus mode and starts handing everybody anything that yeah there we go there it is all right bia's pile was also under the tree yeah she's looking at all the tags and just handing presents out to everybody (laughs) and then she just she waits until percy sits down on the couch and then she sits down on the ground like right next to him like a little kid with a pile of presents around her with whatever's (laughs) there uh percy's gonna look at bia for a second actually hold on uh I'll go leave, and I'll come back with four presents wrapped in just like the oldest, yellowest newspaper possible. I um, love it. Just kind of like uh, Dip and Kane and Bia, and I will hold on to this for Quiche, and I'll stick it in his pocket. All right. All right. Who gets to open first? So I'm just going to tell everybody, like – present sizes so people can decide what they want to open so okay. percy has two presents he has one in a pretty big box and one in a small box okay um Bia a... has uh one she's got a really big box um kate has a small box with an envelope taped on top of it and then there's like a relatively medium-sized box for quiche under the t- under the tree still it's gonna say from bia it's a kind of mid size like sweater box size package for both Cade and for Percy and a very small box for Tiffany. Ooh. Uh, Percy didn't give out a single big present. In fact, all of us <laughs> are very small. Um, Tiff's is is like kind of medium sized ish. Uh, it's very obviously a book of some kind, as is Cade's, but there's also like a box taped underneath it with something in it and uh bia's just looks like a lump of who knows what <laughs> <laughs> those are the best presents let's go it's like i have like, attempted like, to cover together this like something yeah <laughs> an attempt was made who's ever had to wrap a present that's weirdly shaped and that's what happened that's also what it looks like whenever i wrap a present Look, if it's in a box somehow it ends up just as I, a of something i'm no longer allowed to wrap christmas presents oh no <laughs> Uh, wrapping presents to be fair love wrapping presents. um i made it very difficult for the, my wife for the, the very first present i gave her to be open she just Did cover the whole thing in clear it? tape i mean there was a lot of tape yes i had an aunt who sent us like 
all of our Christmas presents for our whole family and used clear packing tape and wrapped the outside of the entire present. Oh my so god! You scissors to get into it. I respect it. It's my style. <laughs> all right. Shall we and go? Cade made us all cornbread. Yeah, Kate, cornbread. Kate, like kind of looks around, cornbread. like like anxiously at all the presents. It's like I, I make, I haven't made y'all's present yet. I, I'm making it. It's it's gonna be a thing you can have. I just haven't made it yet. I'm excited that, about it. That is fun. I, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest. This is a lot more present giving in general than I was expecting from today. So. <clears throat> Somebody go first. Somebody open something. Oh, yeah. So, or am I gonna fucking roll for it? Roll for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I have a D four somewhere. There you go. Roll for present. Let's go. Be a so. one. Cade two. Percy three. Tiffany four. That's how two. we are on the overload. That's Cade. You have to decide who's your opening though. Yeah. yeah. Cade just kind of like looks at everyone. Is like, fine. Go first and uh just like grab something probably maybe like grabs uh tiffany's present first okay i forget what it what does it look like it's a medium try? size box like a it's like a smallish medium box and it's got an envelope taped on top of it okay looks at the envelope should i read this now or either or open the box first okay and she will unwrap and open the box first uh, it is a brand new top of the line Sony Walkman. Hell yeah. Like ye just, old cassette player Walkman, which do not Google how much they cost in 1982. A lot of monies. It was a, a lot, lot of, of monies. Money. She like looks down at it and goes. Nice. Thank you. You're welcome. She like does she open the, the envelope? It's, yeah, then opens the envelope. It's like a fifty dollar gift card to Sam Goody, so she could buy cassettes for it. That is a lot of money for yeah, like ninety eight days. Yeah, yeah. I don't, yeah, but cassettes were really expensive at that point, still too. Like, mm, it's true. Walkmans and cassettes were new enough that they were still pretty expensive. So she wants to make sure she can get like a few good tapes that she can throw in there. Tiffany has been hoarding her money, so above table. With all of the pageant stuff that she's done, Tiffany mm -hmm. has a lot of her own money, like a lot of her own money. It's in a trust fund for her that she just got access to a portion of so she can use some of her money for living expenses. Now she's legally an adult. She can't have all of it till she graduates college or she turns 22, whichever comes first. But she has a trust where and she actually has access to money. some of her. Well, she knows and she's always been really responsible with money, but like her parents couldn't keep that it's literally in an account specifically for her her nana and and papa made sure that it went there because they knew about percy and they didn't want my dad involved in my money just in case because his family is made of money and gave me nothing ever since they found out so she's just starting to have access to stuff so she wants to be able to do nice for others with it So she gets a Walkman and a gift certificate to go buy cassettes for it. Shall we go in the order then, make it around the circle? So who was three? Percy. Oh, okay. Um, well, I, I mean, I feel like if I don't, it's just going to disappoint her. So I'll open up Tiff's first. The big one or the little one? Well, let's go with the little one. You always save the big ones for last. I'll uh, I'll go open up the little one. It's a mug that says "World's Greatest Dad" on it. Ah! Wow! <laughs> because literally every dad should have a mug that says "World's Greatest Dad." Tiff, we're gonna have to have a conversation about lying, but this <laughs> <laughs> means a lot. This does mean a lot. You have made me feel. 20 years older than I am. Thank you. Thank you for that. That is. <laughs> she shoulders is him wonderful. in the knee from the floor <laughs> and just laughs. He reaches over and tussles her hair and then looks at it and takes, looks over at Bia for a second, reaches in between the couch cushions and pulls out a tiny little mini bottle of vodka and pours it in. <laughs> There's already schnapps in there. It's <laughs> oh, you're right. I'll pour it in the schnapps too. And then there you go. Hey. <laughs> you better drink that slow. Slow is, well, slow for me. 
takes a big old gulp of it. <laughs> Percy may or may not have a problem. Oh, what? No, no. definitely not. No. We're working on it. Yeah, this <laughs> is the 80s. It's not a problem. It's just a character trait. All right. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Going around. Uh, I open Bia's first. It is a uh, jewelry box, and it, it it is a necklace with a very small fire opal, like, gem on and she says it's a family tradition that she get get the daughter a nice pendant when she turns 18 and i miss that a little bit but it's her birthstone <laughs> opals is october yeah it yeah. is i looked She's it up and we are a opal. whole yeah she squeals a whole bunch about it and puts it on and then like jumps across percy to give me a hug <laughs> merry christmas son. thank you so much yeah I don't have anything that's my birthstone now that's a cry and shame that, that's that's exactly it that, that was actually um buff table sarah forgot that that's why i picked opal and fire opal specifically was like oh yeah the family tradition was a birthstone that's necklace um i forgot that bia would have said that i forgot hey, it's all right i have two brain cells it's fine anyway. sometimes they rub together and the shock happens and exactly you know. And then ideas happen. Then ideas happen. Um, there you go. Thank you so much. Of course. You're welcome. Um, and she's going to look at, she looks at the packages, it's the big package and just is like, all right, Percy, I hear you about saving the big, uh, this is going to kill me. And she opens the big old box. The one from Tiffany? Yes. It is a brand new in fashion fringe jacket instead of the duster that she has had armor like padded armor sewn into the inside of it because oh she has met the tailor that's the seamstress she went and she had note that i've been lining this shit up for months <laughs> she went to her aunt that's a seamstress and was like you know miss bia got hurt once before and we've all heard the story she likes to wear stuff that makes her feel protected can we do something and her aunt was like i got you and sewed like extra padding onto the inside of the jacket Perfect. You shouldn't be so covered up all the time. Ah! Um, <laughs> and she jumps back to the floor and like sits down next back next to Percy. <laughs> and she just this is this is really lovely, Tiffin. Thanks. Thank you. I hope it fits. I think I got the size right. Um, she's gonna shrug off the bathrobe and pull it on like over this like fleece nighty. Absolutely, that's what you do when you get a new jacket on Christmas. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and yeah, and she kind of like shakes her arm a little bit. And she literally fringe. checked all of Bia's clothes to make sure she got the right size. <laughs> she's been every time she's at, at Percy's by herself, she like checks the laundry. She's looking for sizing to make sure she got it right. <laughs> That one time, like, there was a shirt missing. You didn't know why. That, that's the reason. Yep. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's go around the table again. Where is it back to now? It's okay. back to you. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right. And we'll open uh, Percy's present next. Which one was Percy's? Was it? Uh, no, it was it was a book with, like, a box underneath oh, it. Oh, right, the or book. Something. So she'll pick up the book. And like, see, like, there's a box in there. Um, uh, yeah, this is going to take some explaining, and I'm sorry because you you seeing Tiff's presence at this point, it, it is going to probably be a disappointment. Um, Elbow him in the knee really hard. I so I'm not good at gifts. God. Uh, right. Uh, the book on like top it. there. <laughs> the the book is like a it, it's it's a leather notebook. Um, and thumbing through the pages, there is nothing written on the inside whatsoever. And in the box is a simple spool of red yarn. And he goes, uh, you know, we spent that night together kind of putting together notes for the whole, <clears throat> you know, your, your friends thing. And you were real good, the whole note taking and solving the mysteries. And it'd be best to get you started with some of the equipment that got me started. I, I ain't nothing better than a spool of yarn and some so i can teach you how to do it if you want it does take up a lot of room so maybe maybe this was a bad idea uh anyways i just no, this is um this is real nice person thank you 
<clears throat> yeah, uh, that is actually the first. I took it down from the web. That is the first spool of yarn I had. So you know, just I figured just a regular spool of yarn wasn't really that important. So uh, there you go. It's that. Like just sitting there, she just suddenly starts to tear up. <laughs> oh, I could have gotten something better. Um, I, you know, I just. I. This isn't a good time. I'm sorry. And reaches into her pocket and pulls out an identical red string. It was. It was to protect you in case. Just in case. I'm sorry. And like puts it on like the table or like in front of everyone. He kind of pats Tiff's shoulder to, to ask her to scoot aside a little bit. She moves. Uh he walks over to Kate and leans down and goes, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna hug you if that's okay. All right, uh, he'll pull her into a hug. Surprisingly, well, he actually is a good hugger, despite how fucking bristly he is. Um, yeah. pull, pull, pulls them in and goes, I didn't know you cared. Thank you. Don't ever touch my yarn again. But that's what this is for. So that's that's for you. You can have that. And... Oh, that's, that's fair. I'm sorry. Thank you. She go because. I... Hey. Oh. Thanks. Thank you for that. Um. Anyways, <laughs> oh, that's that was emotional, unexpected. Who's next? You are. Oh damn. Okay. Uh. <laughs> great. Uh, I'll. Look at the the gifts and go, um, well, you know, open what it is. So only feels fair. Open what it be is. Uh, I'll go over and start <laughs> opening that one. I don't remember what size was it. It's like the, roughly the size of like a sweater box that you'll get at the department store. Um, and uh, it is, in fact, a repurposed sweater box that she'd gotten at some point and it's stashed away. Um, uh, and inside is a matching hat and scarf that's this really thick, warm, forest green wool. And she just kind of goes, it gets cold. And I notice that you just have that sheriff's hat all the time. And you don't, you don't have anything actually warm in this house other than your jackets. So. <laughs> you know, I've worn the sheriff's hat for a long time. I know. And that, that beanie, it's thin enough. You can fit it. Put the hat over it too. <laughs> I was gonna say it was a bad time that I wore something else. Thank you. I uh, hope I'll pick up the beanie and look at it, and I'll pick up the the scarf and go. Green is not a very gaudy color. Very good choice. Start wrapping it entirely wrong around it. Like he wraps it too many times and has to unwrap it. <laughs> like let's take a look at it. <laughs> Uh, he'll probably spend like the entire rotation trying to get this properly onto his head and onto Bia, his neck. Bia gets sick of him and like <laughs> wraps it properly. Oh, okay, and... you're choking me. All right, okay, all right, we'll, we'll go. <laughs> and she's she pulls it a little bit tighter, takes the opportunity, kisses him on the nose. Thanks. Y'all are too fucking cute. Oh my god. <laughs> Tiffany says an absolute disgust, but also delight. <laughs> well, nobody asked for your opinion, young lady. Uh, right. Next up, let's go. Let's keep it moving. Uh, my last one, I'm opening my present from Percy. Yeah. Um, uh, as you open it, again, same, very similar size to Kate's, just without the box. It is a book. But as you open it, it's actually something you've seen before. It is one of the books from the lore library. Um, it is a, a very old book that you probably have read because it is on folklore and myths, but it is very clearly wrong about a lot of them. It, it was written like as hearsay for a lot of stuff. Uh, and he goes, it's like Victorian <clears throat> era. 
Yeah, exactly. Uh, and he points out, he goes, that is um, the first book of the library. I realized that it has a lot of wrong information. It took me a while to figure that out. So don't, don't, don't get on me that, Miss College Girl. But uh, I figured giving Cade the first spool of yarn, giving you the first book. I want you kids. I'm sorry. Sorry, Cade. I want you guys to know that I fully believe in you. I think that this is a do. She and just kind of smiles and she inches closer and like wraps one arm around his knee and puts her head like on the side of his lap and just kind of gives a squeeze. Thanks, Dad. He hugs her and leans down and whispers into her ear. And I can't hear anything you're saying because it could God damn it. <laughs> what is wrong with my mic? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, uh, he leans he down. Says, and, he leans down and says, uh, take a look at the last page of that when you get the chance. She immediately flips to the last page. <laughs> she, <laughs> when you get the chances literally right now. I have the uh, chance. Flip. <laughs> looking at it, there there is a small section written to Tiff, which I'll I'll send I'll write it all up and, and send it to you officially. But it is a section thanking her for trusting in him to be a dad because he doesn't believe that he can do it, but he wants to prove her right every day because he knows that she's smart and intelligent. And if she believes in him, there's got to be something that he's doing right. You're watching teardrops hit the page while she's that, reading it. That's why I said the chance. He moves over, like closes the book. I said, when you got the chance, I didn't mean right now. What was that? And Bea pulls some tissues out from her, <laughs> <laughs> from the dressing gown pocket. Of course she has them in the dressing gown Oh, pocket. yes. Uh, Bea has such big grandma <laughs> energy already, and she's yes! so young for it. <laughs> <laughs> Just She's like wipe her nose and wipe her tears and just be like, thank you. <laughs> grandma on <and> training. <laughs> All right, All well, right. I've noticed that I'm two for two on giving gifts and crying, so fantastic. They're happy tears. Can't you understand happy tears exist too? Just lots yes, of but they make me uncomfortable, so. Okay, fair. <sighs> All right, moving along. I think I, it's Tiff. That was my last present. Oh, that I had was. Oh, was yes, the it was. Thing. Yep. Yeah. Is there Percy. anything Percy left? One more present. I have a present. So it's me then. Yep. Um, so I'm opening Percy's again. So what do we the, got? The lump. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> I'm terrified. Let's go. It is a long string of just a leather strap. Just like maybe like uh 15 to 16 feet long. Uh, it's very thick and sturdy. And he looks at it and goes, okay. Um, Don't kink shame, I, it's okay. I'm looking at Kate across the room like, do we need to be here for this? Because I feel like, like we should it be it does not no. even It does not even occur to him. It could be seen that way. Tiffany and Kate are cracking up and he has no idea why. <laughs> Bia also has no idea. <laughs> that is um, not the first of anything. I'm sorry. However that was the wrapping on one of my baseball bats when I was trying to set a sport. I know what it's like to try and swing a bat without any protection and it hurts like fucking hell. And uh, you asked me if I knew anything about your bat. And the truth is, I don't. But I do know what size it is. And I figured that if you are going to be the one protecting us, somebody needs to be there protecting you, or at the very least, your hands. So that is a wrap for the handle on your bat. This is Sarah trying to keep composure. Ah. <laughs> I she looks at it just. I, I don't usually wrap my grips, but this absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, Purse. Well, you know, I was an athlete back in the day, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just yeah. didn't feel like buying you all presents would communicate what I wanted to, so I thought I'd hurt to me. And I hope 
that Lakeisha does not cry when I give hers, so that way it is just two for two, and I feel better about myself. So, and one, if he's like turned away a little bit, she's gonna grab him by the scarf again and go and just kiss him. Uh, he's aware that Tiff is in the room, so it's like a little awkward and still. Oh, it's not like a whole. It's not like yeah. full okay, tongue yeah, yeah. kiss. Just a like. <laughs> Come here, let me kiss you. <laughs> Tiff literally does uh, but he not will kiss care. Her, but... <laughs> she's, she's seen her parents kiss before. Maybe not her biological parents, but she's seen her parents kiss before. <laughs> Never seen her biological parents kiss before, but... No, but obviously that happened at some point. <laughs> but uh, no, he will kiss her back. One last present. Mm-hmm. Oh, Wait, did so I open my... Kate's got yeah. one more. I was about Kate's to say... Oh, no, that's right, I forgot Kate had one more. Sorry, I yeah. like, lost count. Mm -hmm. It's messy, okay. sorry. We can do that real quick. So Kate will open up his present. Um, it is a very thin, lightweight blanket. And it's a lot warmer than it appears. And she just goes, it's a camping blanket. One you can wrap up real tight and carry around with you easy. It's warmer than it looks. Just immediately like put it on like put it over their head we love a burrito <laughs> there's one thing kate is it's a burrito mm. <laughs> there's one thing i figure if you're gonna if you're gonna get worn out and have to take naps everywhere all the time may as well always have the warmth with you this is nice thank you yeah Are we missing anything? Just Percy's big present from Tiff. Yeah. yeah. He'll, uh, he'll crack his knuckles. Start opening it's it. It's not heavy. It's just a big box. <laughs> that does not mean he's not going to be over dramatic about it. Uh, but he will, he will open it. As he starts to rip the paper off the top of the package, Tiffany is going to look at Bia and go, I was real tired of the sheriff's hat, too. And it's a big box that says Stetson across the top of it. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid to open this. Uh, huh. All right. I'll it's pull out. It's literally the nicest brown Stetson available on the market right now. He will... I tried to Google it to get a picture, but they didn't have any catalogs out in 82 that I could find. That's crazy. I, I looked for like four it. hours. <laughs> yeah. He, he touches it like almost reverently and lifts it up because I hope you don't take any offense, but I don't think I'm going to wear this until there's such an occasion. This is No, we need to get rid of the sheriff's hat. Dad, I, like, I have the beanie. All right. I don't okay. have to wear the sheriff's hat. I have but the beanie. The, yes, but eventually it's going to get hot and you're going to want to wear a hat. That's we what I'm retire, saying. We can retire the sheriff's hat. That, You're not I a sheriff re anymore because they were assholes to you for no reason. We don't need to hold I, on to it anymore. You I deserve a nice one. I will retire the sheriff's hat and I will wear this when a occasion presents itself. But breaking a hat like this has got to be something special. OK, fine. But You're I wanted you to have a nice to just, everyday hat. You're allowed to just have nice things and wear them around, Percy. Don't talk, don't talk like that. That's 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 silly. Uh, he'll go <laughs> to take it, like go set it very carefully on display on one, one of the uh, the shelves. And Tiff's just gonna look at Bia and be like, "God, I tried. I really was hoping to get him something <laughs> you, new to wear every day." We'll get there. It's it's always till spring yet. <sighs> it's waterproofed. I paid for the waterproofing. He can wear it year round. You want to know what's incredible is this is the second tabletop character I've played. We're getting a Stetson was a big boy. <laughs> <laughs> I is have two really? nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's Dude, weird that it happened twice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I, I played a character where his arc for most of the campaign was just trying to get a stats <laughs> oh look god. you didn't even have to put any effort in your kid bought you one yeah, yeah. there you go uh, wonderful so for the record uh, there's presents from her for her brothers and sisters at home yeah. there's nothing for her mom or dad yeah oh so after uh, emotional gift exchange 
it's time to cook. It's, yeah, you are montaging, cooking, and eating, and having a jolly good time. Uh, Percy, you're not able to find your keys, but it's fine. Um, and as we're wrapping up, and a little camera, like, you know, uh, panning out outside the window with it being frosted, uh, you do see your keys uh, from, from a perspective uh, in a mailbox. Um, and Why? <laughs> Why not? For what reason? For what reason would they do this? Because it's fun. To them. <laughs> uh, and that is where we will wrap up our uh, not heartbreaking because of, of me uh, holiday special. <laughs> Thanks for the clarification. <laughs> no, that was my gift to your cackers. Aww. Yay! Aww. That was Frank's Christmas gift. Yay! And now to wreck you all next time. Oh, yeah, because at some yeah. point, now Tiffany is not being seen on Christmas. Her mom is going to show up somewhere, and it is not going to be pretty for Percy or Tiffany. <laughs> it's going to be fun. It's going to be mm -hmm. great. <laughs> <laughs>